Or press Doodity. the button. All right. Doodity. Clap. Clap. It's all we. I record the audio together. I don't edit. You don't need to clap. <laughs> clap. No. What if we want to clap for fun? Uh, <laughs> mute yourself first. No, <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I am. I am present. You're present. Now. You're live. Unfortunately, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, does it not look good? <laughs> It's a lot better than I was expecting. Oh. <laughs> I see we're already it, in the mood. Okay, I'm in, I'm in the choir listen, mood. Listen, like listen. Like when I say Near Gestalt is in my top three video games of all time, I'm not joking. No, 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 no. I get it. Get excited. Like, oh my phenomenal, god. Phenomenal, I hope it's good. Then. They just. Such a good remake of Song of the Ancients. I'm so glad, which That's is good. one of the best songs in the entire Yoko Taro those, fucking. <clears throat> yeah, it's, those those games have fucking great soundtracks. Um, I have strong Even memories of playing Nier Automata. So good. Yeah, because I played Nier Automata instead of working on a game jam because I was depressed. I understand. And then I called my partner in the game jam because I played Nier Automata instead of working on mm -hmm. it, and then we dropped out, and I spent like an hour crying in the bathroom about it. Aww. Yeah. It's a good video game, though. Um, it is. Nier Automata. Good. That's my review. Yeah. Of Hello, and welcome to my review of Nier Automata. Good. Um, I'm just gonna bam. Please <laughs> listen to that at some point. Okay. At some point, we're recording. At some, yeah, no, it'll probably be soon. Okay, I would like to pick up literally right when we where we dropped off last time. Oh, shit. Um, okay. So, like, not but mere moments ago has uh, the SS Indomitable sunken into the oceans below and Cap fucking popped off on the <laughs> deck of the ship. Um, extremely stoked about... The fact that, that y'all managed to pull this off. Um, We're balling. Yeah, We're I think now that everything's uh, on board, I think Elizabeth, uh, like, closes cargo bay hatches, like, starts to close everything up, and pulls, like, ascends to get out of the, the danger zone. Um, and into more stable airspace. Um, yeah. You now have one uh, prototype submersible vehicle in your hold, um, completely unharmed. I assume that it's still kind of like hanging there, attached to the tether. Um, you can st like strap it down or put it on some kind of cart. Maybe I, I imagine you have some sort of thing attached to the um, the the hauler that y'all have, the like multi-wheeled big trucks thing that we used in the casino session that you could use to like wheel it on and off deck if you really Likely. needed to. Yeah, there, there are almost definitely ways to get this. A big pallet or like a set of jacks. <laughs> we just have a forklift. It's just a normal forklift. Yeah, basically. <laughs> honestly, like that design really didn't need to change in a co in, in several centuries. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It, it, it makes thing go up Make thing go down. Make thing move all around. That's all you need. They're just like more energy efficient, and now all of them are fitted with those wheels that let them drive sideways. <laughs> oh, that's uh, nice. fun. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Lin's sitting down. <laughs> yeah. He's he's like uh, back against the wall on the opposite side of the cargo bay, and it's just like taking a breather. <laughs> Yeah, um, I forget what happened. You got kind of messed up. Like, not too, too so, bad. You got exhausted or something. Exhausted. Right? Yeah, very much so. Yeah, I fought 12 army robots, um, by myself <laughs> that had energy lasers and then faced oh, yeah. death itself as the void of ocean swallowed me whole. <laughs> With nothing securing me in place but my own, like... Oh, hope to God this works. So yeah, I'm good. I'm good right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Ugh. The uh, storm that Elizabeth noticed is starting to hit. You notice things mm. are starting to like pick up and get more 
rainy and stormy and you hear thunder in the background and things like that. It's not as threatening now that you're not in the range of like the hundred foot tall waves that are crashing around on the ocean. Um, but oh. you can hear that there is a storm happening. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Solace just says, uh, all right, let's get fucking back to port. Holy shit. Uh, you hear Elizabeth come over the comms just like, alright, I'm gonna take her back to the landing pad, Captain, that's alright? Please. Alright. <laughs> With all due haste. <laughs> yeah, 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 alright. Click. And you, you feel the, the ship lurch a little bit as it gains a, a target vector and starts zooming off uh, back toward Poseidon proper. Dunwall, um, I believe I called it. Mm-hmm. You did. Dunwall. Dun- Dunwall. It's definitely not a not a port. Dishonored. Not a, not, no. What, 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 <laughs> dishonored? Who's her? I don't fucking... Who's she? I don't know her. I don't know her. <laughs> um, I'm bad at naming um, things. Oh, fuck. I just realized I named two different things in two different campaigns after Dishonored Cities. Anyway. Hell yeah. Aldridge. Dishonored's good. Oh. Dishonored's a good video game. Um... Sorry. Yeah, we're headed back. Elizabeth has, has got a vector and is heading out. Mm. Uh, we need to get in contact with our liaison. Mm. I, there was this I, have some reading to do. Or something. <laughs> or listening. Elizabeth hits the comms button again and is just like, Hey, Derby, can you make sure Doc and Lynn didn't fuck up the engine too bad? <laughs> I will have some reading to do later. Thanks, Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> Ye of like, little faith. <laughs> she, she just hasn't had a chance to step away from the controls to look herself yet. <laughs> Derby, I made sure that Doc didn't fuck it up too bad. I, I'm yeah, sure I made did. sure Lynn didn't. <laughs> Lynn did. what I was doing. Mostly. We will see who fucked up what after I get in the engine. There's like camera, <laughs> there's like CCT camera footage later, and they're both just shouting at each other for like five minutes in the end room. Opposite ends of the like. <laughs> just like pointing at things and being like, "No, it's not that. It's over here." <laughs> that is absolutely what you would. Hundred percent, how it went. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that makes such a good, like, 30 second scene in an actual episode of Firefly. <laughs> yeah. You can anyway. See, you can see Lynn mouth. I'm too tired for this shit. <laughs> yeah. Like, heavily <laughs> leaning on the sword. Yeah. <laughs> too many bullets in my side. <laughs> I didn't take any bullets. No, I don't no, think you got. But, I mean, it's the, it's the thought that counts. Yeah. <laughs> When it comes to bullets in the side, right? That's how it works. Um, yeah. It's the bullets we dodged along the way. <laughs> God. The real in- the we deflected along the way. The real injuries are the bullets you don't don't shoot. <laughs> it's like jazz. Uh. uh anyway. Uh. Anyway, sorry to bug you, Lynn, but uh. Could we, uh, figure out where we're supposed to be dropping this thing off? Where are we dropping, game? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> where are we dropping, boys? No. <laughs> this isn't the party bus. Get your parachutes on! Lynn drags his soggy ass to his room. <laughs> and it's just like... Just text Moss and I was like, we have... The... Fuck, what do we have? The object? The sub. The su- I don't want to say sub, though. I gotta, I gotta be just free. Prototype. prototype. Um, Submarine. The prototype. goods. Payload? <laughs> Payload? Payload's Payload. good. Payload's yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. The payload's pretty good. We, yeah, I'll just <laughs> text Mouse and be like, we have the payload. God. Where do we, we drop him? Um, yeah. Uh, Mouse and just like, excellent. Exclamation point. Um, <laughs> enthusiastic. Um, have your crew, uh, meet me, have you and the crew meet me at, 
Um, <laughs> no, not that one. Um, the uh, <laughs> I had a name for this at one point, and it's gone. Um, Stormy Sturgeon. That's that's a very D and D tavern name. <laughs> it is, yeah. Um, Listen, I kinda, it's, it's, it's a fucking seaport or whatever sea yeah. town, <laughs> where How the whole not, planet is sea. How is it not called the Trident? It's called the Trident. You're right. There you go. Um, thank you, Jesus. I'm I'm just gonna ask for a name next time. Um, the salty spittoons. <laughs> This particular, so Dunwall, for some reason, just has an extremely high density of people, like, with very D&D tavern-sounding business names. <laughs> like, people perfect. like to LARP here. <laughs> yeah, well, the, like, even, like, the tax fee people li have a building, it's just, like, angelic accounting. Like, everything's, uh, 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 uh. Just really. <laughs> what's, when you, when things start with the same consonant? Alliteration. Alliterative. Everything's alliterative, and there's like it's like very much like adjective noun um, <laughs> for names of things. Yes, uh, yeah, the trident, um, which is a um, small but high class restaurant in kind of the center of Dunwall, and uh, yeah, he extends the invitation to the whole crew. Thanks. All right. Definitely is like me and the crew. <laughs> <laughs> I am, uh, I, am, I am part of the crew and so. <laughs> god. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um. Then yeah, having gathered that information, uh, S uh Solace is just gonna like uh, basically run back to his shitty little quarters, but like as he goes, just like like quickly claps a hand on like Elizabeth's shoulders, like. I don't want to distract you. You did fucking amazing. I'm gonna go get dry. <laughs> Just like cool. soaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> th th thanks. <laughs> is, <laughs> is still very pretty pretty focused on doing the pilot thing because it's still not not good. Can actually, I think I'm gonna roll for her. Um, oh jeez. Because it's still stormy as hell out. <laughs> um, soggy soggy shoulder syndrome. The um, and you did just distract her. Uh, oh, cool. Way to go. Difficulty bar's pretty low, though, so you probably won't just, like, drop out of the sky into the ocean. <laughs> Solace is just, like, climbing yeah, the ladder up. The fucking birches. He just falls off. It's <laughs> just, like, a wet, like, wetsuit sound. <laughs> he fucking falls down. <laughs> yeah. You just sound like a duck. Schlock. <laughs> Jesus. Quitch. Yeah. God. Just like when you get too much, like, like when you ac you're wearing like tall boots and accidentally step in a deep puddle. Oh, ha, ha, ha. socks. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, like wool saw, like thick socks. Horrible. <laughs> and may I remind you, it's cold. <laughs> yeah. It's just like. Chattering teeth, but so fucking hype, just can't even. <laughs> like, <laughs> Freezing his ass off, but just absolutely thrilled about it. <laughs> That's the coolest shit I've ever done. We're gonna get so much fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> what, is, what does Derby do to, like, wind down from being knocked unconscious and swallowed whole by the ocean. I mean, apparently get back to work on the end. <laughs> oh, like, just I just to make sure nothing's like, like, you know, busted. At least it's warm, question mark? Actually, can I ask you to make a roll on that? Yeah, of course. Let me get my... Um, uh, I don't have my character sheet up. One sec. Uh, but yeah. Stakes on this are going to be pretty low. Well, maybe I could, can get some plot points. Six or at six. Okay. D eight. 
for crap. Wait, no, no. D8 for fix. D10. Physical. D10 physical. Is this a physical roll? Uh, I'd probably just... skew mental, but I'll give you physical for just like doing the rounds. <clears throat> or eh, this. I'll honestly feel this feels like a mental to me, kind of though. Like I'm trying to look for any. I'm trying to find out if Lynn and Doc fucked anything. Yeah. Undo I really much. hate that you cut out there for me. <laughs> because it just made that phrase. I'm hoping you said fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's Because yeah, I did that's, not that's hear that. And I just went, oh. oh. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What did you say the stakes were set at? Six. Okay. Six. So D8 for f mental, D8 for fix, D8 for box of parts. Yeah, that's about that's about it, I guess. Not salvager. Um. Mm, yeah, that's yeah. No, well, that's okay. Uh, it's just gonna be an eight. You yeah. succeed. Yay. Um. Yeah. Things are stable, so the you you can tell because you're very familiar with the ship. Um, mm -hmm. the thing that Elizabeth did was, uh, I, she asked them to route, effectively route, I'm gonna use, like, Star Trek terminology, because I think the way that they model ships narratively is really interesting, um, route power from, uh, primary acceleration to stabilizers, um, to make the, your, to basically, like, overcharge her, your, the ship's, um, outer thrusters which keep it like upright properly um yeah and uh this is great if you're in a planet with heavy atmosphere and storms um but it's gonna like cut your speed once you get out of atmo by like two-thirds um mm. so it's fine for now and it's probably good for now but as soon as you break atmosphere you're probably gonna want to switch it back and you know how okay good no separate roles for actually fixing it then good and uh doc and lynn didn't fuck up too bad uh like nothing is actively <laughs> broken or dangerous um thing <laughs> like maybe some contacts are a bit shoddy like something might pull loose if you take too much of a hit um but broadly speaking it's fine it's it's completely passable it's functional <sighs> you would have done a better job but they did all right Derby looks. Things are fine for the most part. Little pro, little problem. We would if we if we went up above Atmo have a little problem with speed. Nothing terrible. Nothing I can't fix immediately. You'll be happy to know. You will all be happy to know that nothing was destroyed within whatever pandemonium must have occurred. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm gonna get to that later, though. I am a little bit tuckered out. Yeah. I would you... like to go back to my little hobbies. <laughs> Derby out. Cool. Lynch You've got... His room like, God, I, I, it was fine. I, I told you it would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a, about... I'm going to say about two hours until you get back to Dunwall proper. Um, which is a combination of just how far out you had to fly into the middle of the ocean to get to this place, and also the fact that uh, Elizabeth is navigating through a storm. Um, so it's... Uh, she's still got, like... None of her sensors are down or anything. Uh, it's not like she's veering off course or whatever, but it's just actively harder to fly. So you've got, yeah, you got some time to dry off, maybe clean yourselves up a little bit. Um, well, everyone except Elizabeth does. Bless um, her heart. <laughs> ah. So, in uh, just a little bit of, of time, unless anyone had, has any objections, you get back to the landing pad. Um, the same, you hear, like, some loud chunks as they, they throw on the magnetic tethers um, and bring the lovelace down and strap it in properly um you've got all your cargo set up and stuff um 
Do you just have the prototype kind of out in the open in the hold? It is quite large, so it's not like you could hide it in a compartment or anything, but, like, yeah, you want to well, throw a tarp over it or yeah. something? Yeah, I was literally about to say, I think the best we could do is just, like, a tarp. Derby, <laughs> puts, just... a, Derby puts a tarp on it, but covers it in a bunch of other junk. <laughs> just to make it look like it's a, it's a mess. Just Very a part nice. of a mess. Mm, camouflaged. Yeah, reasonable. Yeah. You're probably pretty good at that too. Yeah. Um Yeah, absolutely. I'm I don't know gonna cause a roll for that. That's just good. Um Yeah, so you have been asked to meet downtown. Hmm. Collectively. Um Elizabeth just kinda like stumbles out of the cockpit. Um and is just like Oh <laughs> Okay. We're 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 docked. We're I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, um, you she been... she has the like concentration raw kind of like eyes of someone who has been staring at like like uh someone who's been driving mountain roads for like all oh, of God. a day. Uh... Where it's like it's boring, but also it's tedious and difficult and high stakes. Um, just someone who ha who has been focusing very hard for an extended period of time. Uh, yeah, yeah um, we're so what's uh what's going on? Uh, we're meeting mm -hmm. our uh contact, and then I'm treating y'all to dinner and drinks, whatever the fuck y'all want. Derby has. Derby says, I thank you for the offer, Captain, but I have work to do on Ada. Rather so, rather important work, if you know what I mean. I, y yeah, I mean, I, I appreciate that, Derby. I mean, you, you don't have to, I will, I mean, uh, <laughs> it, do what you feel like you gotta do. I'm doing it until some. <laughs> I, I'm doing it now because I feel like because I feel like if I wait longer, it's not going to think something's going to happen. I'm not waiting until something happens. Good. Good point. <laughs> uh, I'll, and I owe you then, Rain Chick. Uh, mm -hmm. Kind of literally. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good enough for me. <laughs> uh, I, I have added a D10 asset Ada's parts to your assets, Derby. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah. I think Elizabeth's just like, shit, do I gotta get, like, dressed up? Lynn walks out very dressed up. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> All right. Give me a minute. <laughs> give me, give me, like, give me, like, ten minutes. I was literally about to say, I think even Captain is, like, Captain doesn't have, like, a lot of, like, fancy dress, but, the, like, this is definitely, like, better for the captain's own standards. <laughs> this, like, nice clean shirt, the most unworn jeans that they have. <laughs> polish your polish your holster up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Still yeah. strapped. Can't boots. not be strapped. Uh -uh. The nice mm -hmm. boots. Mm -hmm. Are cowboy boots useful on a, a ship? On a spaceship? Here's... Here's a question. Yeah. I mean, if they're dress boots. Aren't all okay. cowboy boots dress boots? Um, depends yeah. on the type. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's listen, <laughs> I'm not gonna go into details about the types of fucking cow boots that exist. <laughs> there's multitudes. <laughs> um, uh, is, Some is are fancy it, for work. Am I, am I allowed to carry a sword? Yeah, in it's open carry. Like, oh, perfect. This is like, mm. like, just because of what we have seen of the Firefly setting, it's kind of like the alien setting where like just everyone's armed all the time, um, and I think that's still true out here, if not more so, because this is effectively a yakuza controlled state. Um, so like, people are just armed because they want to be or because it's useful. Um, less useful out here, it'd be more useful on a planet with, like, hostile wildlife, as opposed to just, like, fish. Although, big fish. Like, sometimes you need to shoot a, shoot a squid. Like, that's how it is. Honestly, there are probably more people here with blades than with 
guns. guns. Like, there's probably a lot more people who are carrying, like, whale-boning machetes. Just because it's more useful. Like, if you get if you get wrapped up by a squid tentacle on the side of a boat, you want to hack it off. You don't want to shoot it. <laughs> whale. Knife. Dunwall. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good one. <laughs> what do we do with the drunken whaler? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. I'm sorry. It had to be done. Apparently. It was an easy joke. <laughs> um, yeah, I think so. Like a hurried 10 minutes. Uh, go by and uh, Elizabeth is back out and she's got like an actual dress on um, she doesn't have much though so it's like a summer dress which is startlingly inappropriate for this climate um, she, she's also just got like a thick coat uh, like very much like a nice dress underneath like a spacer coat where it's like it's th it is something that's been, been meant that is meant to be worn like in the black it like reflects uv radiation and rain and shit oh um, wait 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 no she doesn't have to do that i don't want her to wear a coat indoors felix is going to offer her, her his card again oh <laughs> that that's awful kind of you uh I, mm. She looks at the card again. She looks at her dress, and she's just like, "I'm not sure they'd go together." Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. And your space suit? I'm and gonna take it off once suit? we get inside. <laughs> <laughs> it's it look, just like gestures at the storm raging outside. <laughs> she's like, "You're not wearing a coat." <laughs> I just didn't I'm want you to get cold and No, I, I really appreciate it. I'm I'll be I'll be okay. Thank you, Felix. Of course. Uh... Alright. are we are we going going? Yeah, oh we good. Yeah, to... we're good. Yeah. Alright, cool. If everyone who's going is ready. <laughs> Doc will go, Felix is gonna stay behind. I oh. actually think um Shortly before you leave, oh. um, Masuno texts Lin. Oh. And is like, um, I'll have men over to collect it shortly. Oh. Oh. Um, and like a several minutes after that, uh, you remember the, the dudes that were with Masuno when you first arrived here? Um, mm. The kind of like buff Yakuza tough type kind of guys. Mm -hmm. um, they're. they're them and people like them and they've got like a trailer and like lifting equipment like something equipped to take a vessel with them uh lynn is hiding <laughs> all right he yeah that's reasonable want, he does not want to be seen by them yeah that's fine um they're they're mostly looking for the captain specifically and they're just like hi we're here with masu we've got the thing with the you know i i do in fact know i just kind of like eyebrow starts, <laughs> yeah, m moving stuff around and like untarps it. Yep, sure thing. All right, um, I think they retarp it, but like with their tarps, um, and like mount it onto the back of this. Like it, it's a, a little cargo hauler that's designed for mm -hmm. this thing, and they like get get it winched onto their platform, and then just kind of like off into the rain. Ominous. <laughs> uh, well, all right. Time to fucking collect. Uh, yeah, I guess whoever's going. Uh, follow me? Question mark. I don't even know if I know where I'm going. I feel like Lynn is gonna be like, "Wait, Felix, you're staying behind." I'm a little tired. I think I'm just gonna stay behind on the ship. Alright, suit yourself. They'll right. just kind of wave so and head back to his room. So Lynn and Captain and Doc and Elizabeth. Yeah. Sounds like it. Alright. Cool. Yeah, you head out. Uh, Lynn's got the address. You have Google Maps or some shit. Um, yeah. <laughs> <Lynn's> <laughs> Maps. 
Poseidon maps. Yeah, you, you can... <laughs> it, it is it is functionally trivial for you to get there. Um, you do pass past the uh, port side and more into downtown. Um, this city consists of very... It has a very low population, and the population is here exactly for the industry, right? Mm -hmm. There's not exactly a lot of... Like, there, there's, like, theater, there's, like, movie theaters, and, like, some entertainment stuff, and there's bars, and, like, things that people who live in a place like. Um, uh, it's, it's not completely barren or anything like that. Um, but it's not, like, a city. It, it is, like, it, this has the cultural equivalent of, like, a, like, an industrial town. Like, it, you've got, like, the diner everyone goes to, and, like, two or three bars, and, like, some nice restaurants, some less nice restaurants, some fast food joints that manage to wheedle their way in there. Um, like, a bowling alley, and a, a movie theater, and that's about it. Um, yeah, and you're invited to, like, one of the two nice restaurants in town. Uh, it's not super large. It's kind of the smaller thing inset into... We'd mentioned that they're very flat buildings. Um, so it is a fairly long building. And it's got this really nice um, neon sign. Most of the, the towns... Or the towns. The buildings here have neon signs. Um, mostly just because they cut through rain and mist easily, visually. Um, and it, so it's, it's uh, like in cursive script. It's like the trident. And then it's got like a... a um, line art uh, uh, neon sign of like uh, a very Greek looking god with a beard like holding a trident up um, and there's a fish skewered on the the end of one of the <laughs> trident points um, yeah and you when you step inside um, you notice that there is uh, the staff and there is Masuno and a couple other um, like Yakuza looking folks that you see um, and the rest of the restaurant is just empty. Um, oh. <laughs> and uh, in addition, like, there's a big table, long table set in the center of uh, the, the, like, dining area. And it's just stacked. You've got a, the, an absolute, like, buffet line, but it's not, a, <laughs> it's not set up like a buffet. It's just, like, this massive spread um, and you've got, like, real-ass crab legs. Big, like, they, they're t very much taking advantage of the fact that their seafood is big. Um, so they've got, like, whole... So like, you've got, like, calamari, which is, like, cut squid rings, right? But they're, like, this big. They're, they're like, uh, uh, the size of, like, personal pan pizzas sir, sir, <laughs> circumference. And they're, like, laid out and sliced thin. And they're, they're, they've got the whole thing going for it. And Masano is, like, walking towards you and is just, like... You did it! That incredible job, all of you, really. I mean, it's all thanks to them. They fucking pulled through. <laughs> yeah, all, all don't and don't sell yourself short. I, I, a crew's only as good as its captain, right? <laughs> Shucks. They <laughs> saw us like genuinely, like kind of blushes at that. <laughs> like, oh. Um. And I thought it would be good to congratulate you on your assistance for this. So I've I've got this space out for the evening, should you choose to dine. We've got food, drinks, uh, we've got all of this. And I figured um, if and when you're going out into the black again after this, you could take it with you. Um, have some real oh. food for the road. That is extremely generous. I, I've been in space for a while. I know what's good. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't think any one of us would, uh, 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 deny that offer, mm -hmm. so. There's, like, a couple bottles of, like, real champagne, um, <laughs> also just, like, <laughs> beers. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, so I, I like to imagine that there's this mix of things that are actually genuinely very nice, like fresh mm -hmm. seafood and, like, real actu really well professionally prepared meal things. And also things that you wouldn't think are a luxury until you go to space. Like, mm -hmm. just, like, a six-pack of bottles of beers. And, like, uh, I, uh, I, uh, uh, what, what else would be good? Like, some, fr like, fresh raw fruit. Um, yeah fresh it, it's it's frozen fruit but it is real fruit mm -hmm. 
Um, and like, I don't know. Name me something that is here that is mon both mundane and a luxury. Anything you would find on a bread, like board. like well baked bread <laughs> with real grain. Yeah. Oh, they've got like cheddar rolls. Oh, oh, oh. like red lobster. Yeah, I red lobster know. cheddar biscuits. Cheddar biscuits. You know, you know how last session we we had a memorable complication that pr cropped up. I feel I do. like this should be going the opposite way on Tomasino now because this is very much like, oh, he he did all of this like <laughs> <laughs> just for me, just for me. You get the sense that Masano is very like happy with all of this, but also that it's not really a big deal for him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> I think like so he's I always stoked trying... to do this for some like i think you like i was gonna say i was i've been reading up on too many other systems i was just like can someone make an empathy role um but uh i i think it's more interesting to just tell you um you can tell that he's getting more enjoyment out of how much you all are enjoying this than he is out of like any of it himself I think Solace is very mm. poorly concealing how fucking excited he is. It's just like yeah. completely ecstatic. I, I think Elizabeth also just like wide eyes, mouth actively watering. <laughs> Captain goes yeehaw on the food. <laughs> <laughs> Roll for yeehaw. Roll for eat. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, please. Oh, uh, Let's take care of business before it's out of the way. Um, and he pulls right. out, like, a, a data pad. And he's just like, your accounts? And he's got, like, a transfer set up. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the idea that Solace is like, I don't think I've ever done it this way before. <laughs> I was going to say, if you, do, if you hesitate, Doc already has, like, his out, his information up. <laughs> He's done <laughs> this company, before. That's a company account, jeez. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, he is paying lump sum to crew. Um, oh, so like, it's going to be in the in the like your, the 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 Lovelace account, right? Like, this is for. Right. He's not doing individual crew payments for this. Yeah, no, that would <laughs> that would not be his responsibility. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, no, I think Solace just like take care of that just like yeah. does what he needs to do plugs in his information or whatever hell yeah um i'm gonna give you the i'm gonna give like a general asset or maybe a lovelace asset no i'm yeah. gonna i'm gonna make it a general asset stellar payout stellar um <laughs> doc is just swimming in this and it's a <laughs> i'm gonna i'm putting it at a d12 Oh. Um, so, uh, how this is going to end up working is, uh, whenever you use that to, like, get something, you're going to roll it like a stat with whatever you're doing, um, to, to, to like, show the fact that you're paying. So, like, there's a, all right, sorry, I, brain, two ways you can use it. One is if it makes a lot of narrative sense to just be like, and then you pay for it. Instead of doing some kind of complicated thing, whenever you, like, use money as an asset, right? Then we just knock it down by one each time. So, like, D12 to 10 to 8, etc. Or you can use it as an asset whenever you use money to get something done, right? So, like, if you're trying to convince someone to do something for you and you're just like, but what if we paid you? Um, then you can add that die to the roll... And if it's successful, right? So, like, if you successfully pay them off, then we knock it down. Does that make sense? Cool. Yeah. Mm. I think so. Mm. Cool. So we're, we're not going to do the thing that we did the last time where we divide it into... No, this is just a... Uh, unless, unless you choose to do so, in which case then we can deal with that. Um, if you would like to... I, I give everyone their own shares. Fun narrative things with that, but like uh, we can. We absolutely play can. it out and see. <laughs> like, well, you are the captain. You are in charge of the money right now. <laughs> oh. Um. I don't know. I 
know if it's better to deal with it right now. I wanted to do a thing where basically the captain was going to give everyone bonuses and just dock his own pay very slightly. Um, but uh, I don't know if that actually like matters. <laughs> if that would like uh, have gameplay things <laughs> it would mm -hmm. be affected by that. Um, also, uh, it might be good to talk a matter of scale. I said like a hundred thousand credits or whatever last time we we when I said a number for this amount of money. Um This is like buy another ship amount of money. Um My God. like you could live off of this money uh if we're talking time, like months, plural. Mm -hmm. Like you could fly on this amount of money for like maybe half a year. Um, if you did wow. nothing else with it, this is this is I, I and I'm I I was I wanted to be upfront about this one when, when we started the mission. Is like this is a killer payout. This is a whole lot of money. Yeah. Okay. So this is not a stellar payout. It is an interstellar. Interstellar. <laughs> <laughs> Take a plot point, Lynn. Oh it's my pretty God. good. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, Gladly. Take a plot point for the pun, uh, and then I'm taking a plot point from you for the pun. <laughs> oh. What am I getting in return for giving you a plot point? Nothing. Uh, nothing. So I don't even get a plot point? No. <laughs> <laughs> this game doesn't have rules for that. I'm not allowed to. <laughs> That's true. I, I, I can't. I'm not allowed to distribute plot points at my leisure. Um, I know. I don't like it either. Um, uh, speaking of which, I didn't grab my plot points at the beginning of the session. Cool. Um, yeah, so Masuno just kind of, with that done, just kind of, like, steps aside and gestures to, uh, the food. And it's also like, you, I thought you had more crew. Is that true? Uh, several of the crew members decided to stay behind. Uh, okay. that was, it, it was... A big day. <laughs> I, I'm certain. I'm certain it's been a very stressful day. Well, obviously you're free to take this back with you, um, or if you want to like text them and let them know. Uh, you you all have y'all. He does not say y'all. Um, <laughs> it's infectious. Uh, uh, you have the restaurant to yourselves for the evening. Um, so if you ever want to, if you want to bring them here, if you want to invite others from the town here for a bit of fun, if you want to have some kind of party, I don't know, do whatever the fuck you want. Um, <laughs> as long as you don't ruin the place I do have a reputation to uphold and I hope you won't get too rowdy right <laughs> we, we will be on our uh, on moderate behavior let's say that <laughs> I think we've earned a little frivolity <laughs> I believe so as well um, Lynn would you mind? Yep, was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, um, Masuno pours himself a glass of champagne on the way and uh, heads into like the little private party room in the back. I think Solace claps you on the shoulders. You go, just like, get it, man, get it. <laughs> just like, go on. <laughs> Please tell me Masuno hears this. <laughs> I he super does, and he like he, he he's holding the champ like. Like a vampire, he's holding the champagne and he's just like... <sighs> <laughs> Lynn is red. <laughs> oh, you got this, dude. <laughs> yeah. Cap, it, Cap it has already had a beer and a half. Yeah. <laughs> all the way up. <laughs> I think you oh. fundamentally misunderstand what's... Never mind, I'm not going to have this conversation. Uh, the room, the room. Yes. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> Dong is up. <laughs> uh, well, uh, I guess I will text the rest and be like, "Y'all do not know what you're missing." <laughs> so, Sends <in> a picture. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like, <laughs> just sends like a, a, just a fucking itemized list of all the shit <laughs> that is in front of them. Oh. Derby is head deep in head deep in inside of the computer. Alexa's napping. Aw, oh. bless. 
Let me bring back some boxes. <laughs> he was stressed Set out. Quite a few boxes, I assume. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Likely. He oh, also being very uh, excited. Elizabeth is two beers deep. Um, oh. Is like... Avoiding most of the seafood. Mm. Um, and is just kind of like... I think she's scarfing cheddar biscuits, is what she's doing. <laughs> like, she she has honed in on, like, the desserts and baked goods. Ah. There we go. Um, and is, is having heart. a time. Like, you know how at, like, buffets you get the plate and... The, so, and even though you know you can just keep going back for more, you just stack it. Um, yeah. Yeah, that. Except, like, two plates, and one is, like, a whole, like, bread and biscuits and, like, like a, like maybe some, like, chowder or, like, a, like a nice, like, fried fish. Like, something very standard. Um, and the other plate is, like, cake, cupcakes, brownie, <laughs> like, <laughs> scoop of ice cream. <laughs> Just ready. And it's just like legs kicked up on one of the tables, like food to the side, just like, yes, good. <laughs> uh, she's wearing uh, sneakers. Even though she is she is nice other dress, but she's just got sneakers. Um, yeah, so the back room where Masano is, is much, it's, I was gonna say much quieter, but the only noise happening in the restaurant is your crew, so, it maybe it is much quieter. I don't know how rowdy they're getting. Um, and, um, it's, it's nice. It's the kind of thing you would bring people to for, like, like, a 40th birthday party, where it's got, like, nice, comfortable seating, and it's, like, well lit, but it's cushy, and just, like, kind of refine the kind of place you would like have wine and talk um and masuno's got a a flute of champagne that he's kind of sitting on and has chosen to recline in one of the booths uh i'm walking in and just like i'm i'm so sorry for that back there <laughs> i mean I'm not gonna lie, uh, it'd be really nice if, like, you pushed me against the wall and, like, <laughs> things happened. Oh, like, that's way too far. That's, I'm sorry. That's You've not... had a day, clearly. You have no idea. <laughs> I, I think you're right. I don't think I have an idea of what's been going on today. Um, would you mind informing me, maybe? <laughs> Lynn, like, sits down with a big ol' huff. Um... And <laughs> I wish I had like wine or something really badly for this. <laughs> Just like, uh, like it doesn't, it doesn't work the same. No, unfortunately. Um, I think Lynn just goes like the step by step of like what happened on the ship. Um, yeah. From his perspective, uh, like they drop down and can't get in contact with Derby, comms issues, finding the safe spot, uh, mm -hmm. the robots turning on with the lights, fighting 12 robots, <laughs> yeah. um, being so exhausted and just having to take the brunt of the gaping void. Um, yeah. uh, and then just like, and now, you know, we're here. You are. And that, that's, Pretty incredible. Um, thank you for doing all of this. And obviously, um, yeah, I obviously owe you this. And gestures kind of to both the, the room at large and then, like, the other room. And just kind of laughs and is like, <laughs> I, uh, it's weird how it almost doesn't feel like it, huh? Can I... Maybe it's not worth really get relitigating. Um, but I just... I, I need... <laughs> for my own sanity... To tell you... What happened. 
because I don't I don't know what you know. I don't know if you saw security footage. I don't know if you know the full truth. I don't know what they told you. I'd appreciate hearing it from you. So, um, I went to meet with Tanaka. He called me, as you recall. Um, and I went to speak with him. We had kind of a long conversation. And um, it kind of morphed into something else at the tail end of it. It was a, a plan that he wanted to an act um and lynn tells masano what that plan was um, mm -hmm. and after it kind of dawned on me what he was trying to do i couldn't let that happen um and the only way that i knew how to make that stop was to just kill him. And so I did. I did. Um, and I don't regret that entirely. Uh, I didn't know how much time I had. I had to get rid of some of his guards in the room, outside of the room. Um, and I went back to the safe house, and you weren't there. And so um, <laughs> I, I, I couldn't call you. I couldn't text you. You know, it, it, that to me felt like I was involving you. And I, if you were there. It, it, no. Yeah. I, I get it. So I, I grabbed a couple of things and I left. Yeah. And I'm, Sorry it happened like that. Yeah. I'm... I guess I'm sorry it took this long for me to talk to you, too. So, maybe also useful for you um, is to tell you the other side of that. So, what happened afterward, when you were gone. Um, so, Tanaka is found dead. Um, family structure and all that. Um, there's a vacuum there. Uh, Kichiro steps in. Um, effectively, through some dealings, through some alliances, contacts and whatnot, takes over where you left off or takes over where um tanaka left off not with that plan but with his territory um and convinced the syndicate that that was a better idea than promoting someone uh and that consolidation of power um brought him a lot higher than uh he'd been before he has a lot more weight to throw around now and along with that goes the accusation of you stole almost half of Tanaka's fortune when you run off, which you say is just plain wrong. I, no, I didn't. Yeah. And I have a theory about that, but we we can let that wait for a minute. Um, since then... We've got, like, the, the Syndicate sent Clara and uh, uh, Crusher to go find you, basically, and try and take the money as a venture. But more or less, that money's been forgotten. Because now that Kichiro's taken over the fold, it's a whole... He, he owns it now. It's not a problem. It's, it's no longer... It would have been his money to find, and that it is gone is no longer an inconvenience for him. Wait, so there is actually missing money? There is. Quite, and significant. Oh. So, well, I guess we can get to it now. My guess is that Kichiro took the money. 
and blamed it on you and used that money to pay off everyone in Tanaka's crew that would have stood up to him and tried to fight for succession. Huh. And if anyone knew that, that he did that and blamed it on you over the body of a dead family member, he would not live in this family anymore. No. Which is... And you know that you don't take that money, obviously. So, yeah, if I he was trying to kill you... So that's my guess. Well... Okay, yeah. No, that... <laughs> that... That makes a lot of sense. I just kind of figured it was a lie that they made up. No, that money's gone. Or rather, maybe it's not gone. Fuck. I don't... He didn't pay you money. No, no. No, I'm different side of the family. I, I've been working. So, Tanaka's out, right? Yeah. Turmoil. We're talking about succession. Kichiro's moving in, and I'm not a fan, gotta say. Um... But now I'm part of a headless branch of the family. So I go to the syndicate during this power vacuum and say, hey, this little bit of land, this little operation that's now no longer dealing with stuff, let me take care of that. I'm ready. And I do. And I, I, I do pretty fucking good at it, Lynn. <laughs> of course you did. Um, and then... After that have that operation goes well, I go, hey, how about this other thing? Can I do that? And I just I just keep doing that. And now I own this planet. Um, and it's kind of a shitty planet, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> but we're making money. And I've got power on the syndicate. Not a lot, but enough. I'm comfortable. My family's comfortable. Like... feels good to do crime especially when you take as much money out of the alliance pockets as you can <laughs> taxes i don't know her she said hell yeah from the dining room <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. It's definitely for a completely different conversation, but it's just too perfect of, like, timing for it. <laughs> it turns out paying accountants off is really easy. Oh, super easy. Well, especially with as much money as you probably make, huh? I am, uh, doing well, one might say. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this feast is not like something I've ever... Well, not that I've never seen it, but it's... I imagine it's uh, not super common anymore. It's been a while, yeah. Yeah, I figured you'd appreciate it, and the crew, obviously. Like, it sounds like you roll some with some pretty, pretty in the black spacers nowadays. Yeah. And I figured, you know, who doesn't like a good feast? <laughs> no, I. Uh... I think Lynn is like this. I, this moment is very good for Lynn, and I think he like has to like wipe away uh, like a tear. And I think he's like trying to hide it and just cannot because they're like across from each other. Yeah, and Mawson was just like, "You don't. We've known each other too long for that." <laughs> what for me? Feeling a, a certain sense. No, of for you to fucking worry. try and hide it, idiot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the more things change. Oh, now he's God. laughing. I'm trying. <laughs> last, last time I date a himbo, I tell you what. Got him. You know what? A very pretty himbo, though. Damn right. <laughs> Oh, God. Um, 
Yeah, uh, well, uh, oh, feast aside, um, although fuck, it does smell good. Um, I, I yeah, kind of, uh, you and Kichiro and that whole mess that I guess I'm more in it than you are, it seems, which is good. That's, that's yeah. Well, not what I good for me anyway. <laughs> well, yeah, because yeah, it sounds like you're still in it. Like, as much as this is great, this doesn't solve things for you. No, hundred thousand credits. <laughs> no, that's it's a nice, lot. But mm -hmm. uh, not not a what like barely half a percent. Yeah. Yeah. Um. um we can try and change that. That was going to be kind of my question. Yeah. Um... I hate that asshole. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't really know too much about him. I never had to deal with him. I, I mean, well, I've only been in the family for so long. Um, the fact that he tried to kill you and wasn't afraid to kill your whole crew to do it probably tells you most of what you need to know. Well, yeah. But aside from that, like, I, I don't really know a whole lot of, like, his operations or, you know, all no. that sort of shit. And, it's and I like... can help with that. So, right. Well, hmm. I The gears are turning. Yeah. The, I, I am appreciative of that, and that's why I'm here, but I also want to... Crusher and Clara did find me. Right. We did have a con. Well, one of us had a conversation, and mm -hmm. one of us wouldn't look the other in the eye. Uh, so that avenue, I think, is probably gone. Um, but just because she doesn't want to talk to me does not mean that I don't also care about her safety. Reasonable. So. I can... I've got some contacts in the Syndicate. I can keep an eye. So, uh, in case you didn't know, that's that's who they're working with now. Is this the greater Syndicate proper. Um, they're working for the top. Oh, so um, they're not even with... They're not even under Kichiro? No. The only folks they're under is, like, the Council and shit. Like, yeah. They're, they're a... Uh, special force, special unit, or what? I don't know. They do investigations. They do a lot of auditing. In very different ways, the two of them. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. Um, but I also know that, like, if there are loose ends to be cut, um, I have a feeling I am not the only one who is a loose end in this situation. I, I like anybody who didn't decide to fall under his mold, um, I feel like would probably be in a certain amount of danger. Yeah. I don't know where that leaves you or Clara. I think at this point, my assessment of the situation politically, right, is that I am... Uh, both distant enough, excuse me, awful, um, <laughs> attempting to sneeze and then not is the worst, um, where I'm at, I, so I'm both distant enough from you, we broke to connect ties functionally immediately after, not functionally, actually immediately after you left, um, and politically, I'm too, like, if I go dead suddenly, there's going to be people looking into why. Them, though, they do a lot of traveling. They see a lot of people. They interact with lots of organizations, not just within the families. They... If he wanted a target painted on their back, it'd be a lot easier than mine. And I've got people watching my back. 
people you trust. People you with my life. Trust. Literally. <laughs> If you want, so here's the thing though too. Like we don't, we don't have to kill Kichiro. But we're not, I'm not suggesting some kind of assassination plot. We just need proof that he did what we think he did. Right. Do you want to do some more crime with me? Lynn smiles, like, very wide, but very slowly. <laughs> it's like, that is not a question I anticipated you asking, but uh, it feels good as hell to hear you ask it. Well, hey, look, if Kichiro gets disgraced by the council and needs to be offed or executed or exiled or whatever, who gives a shit? As long as he doesn't have power anymore, right? Yeah. Well, that's all the more territory, and I can gesture to all of this and go, Hey, look. Look how good of a job I did with this shitty ocean planet. How about I take some of that? That'll be fine, right? And they'll be... They'll go, yes. What a wonderful idea, Masuno. Come, <laughs> take our money. <laughs> and that sounds great to me. Uh, the biggest question for me is, uh, obviously, you, you're invested. You can help. Um, do you think your crew would, should, should, do you think it'd be a good idea to talk to the captain? He's over there. Um, I know that the captain was saying that he was willing to help any way he could. So, that's, that sounds like an awful generous offer. You've got an interesting crew around you. Yeah, they're, <laughs> they're a bit of a handful, but so am I. Hmm. Then, um, yeah, let's have a talk with the captain. Also... I doubt you'll be welcomed into the family with open arms if we manage to accomplish our goal. But I am hoping, potentially, that we might be able to hold conference not as in secret as we are currently. Um, you mean after? Yes. Yeah. What is... Miss looking at your dumb face, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, the the player laughing. Um, Lynn smiles at that <laughs> and kind of says, uh, "Does um, in conference kind of mean like?" I want to talk to you more often without having to hide it. <laughs> yeah. Or at least hide it as much. Do you know how many people I had to pay off to get the access to this building today? It was a pain. It's not a problem, it was just a pain. But, um... <laughs> I, I mean, I don't... I, I, I'm obviously speechless. Because, <laughs> yes, I would like to see you more and again it reminds me when things it, you remind me takes a long draught of champagne when things weren't so complicated you just like do whatever the bosses tell you to do today and you get a bunch of money and you go spend it on shit you like and that was your day. Yeah. <laughs> and, and then you hang out. You fuck someone hot. You go drinking. You pass out and you do it again. Do you... And now I have to do like 
accounting and I have to manage my people and I have to 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 go talk to the council and uh, it's yeah uh, I still do all of those things just so much less frequently. I think well, let me rephrase. Do you remember um Oh god, it must have been a year after I first met you when we went jet skiing. Yes. God, I haven't done that. In... You can't do it around here, obviously. <laughs> you would die instantaneously. <laughs> I was just thinking... Not that... that I haven't thought about it. I was thinking that the entire flight over to the ship. Yeah. I was just like, that would... Like, it, it can't be possible. It, it is... How I... much fun would it be if it was? <laughs> okay. Real talk? That's why I was interested in this planet in the first place. <laughs> And when it turned out that you couldn't, because the waves were the size of mountains, I got so angry. <laughs> mm. You might be able to surfboard forever, though. That's You'd need a surfboard the size of God, though. <laughs> I feel like you have enough money to purchase such an object. I think that's how I would want to go. <laughs> yeah. Is just surf one of these waves until it collapses and I get crushed under 20 tons of hydraulic pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Burial at I'm, sea. I kind of know how that feels like, and it's a... Uh, oh. Not right, fun. yeah, that... Mm, maybe not, actually, huh? Or I... Well, I, as long as I'm, like, high off my ass when it happens, right? Oh, there you go. Yeah. That'll do it. That's another thing I don't get to do very often, because I have to, like talk to people in the morning that's pretty lame yeah don't not that i think you would but a recommendation don't get high with crime lords it's just sad i kind of expect it's a that bad to be the time i expect that they get high a lot yeah but like if you get high with your dudes like 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 you're the people who are are really like in the weeds and working like your men hell yeah and they'll respect you more for doing it too uh i probably don't have to say this but i kind of feel compelled to now but uh you you kind of get what you don't want to be so just you know if you're gonna ride higher uh yeah just careful don't want to get too high yeah. ah, too high yeah, 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 yeah. That's... Mm -hmm. yeah that was a good one yeah should i go get the captain <laughs> yeah no that'd be great actually i think i'll just come out i would also like to eat food so. yeah i was about to say i think it's time for a meal now i i, I have a question because i want masuno to open the doors into the it main is. dining room and i need to know what everyone is doing very badly <laughs> um i know exactly what the captain is doing is there a bartender yes or some kind of like okay sure uh solace is like two elbows on the bar and is just looking very intently at this person and it's just like you're telling me there ain't a single place in this whole city that will rent me a mechanical bowl. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm so we don't there's not one to be had. Like we no. can't it just it it we would have to manufacture one. It just there we'd have to import one. We don't just have one <laughs> lying around. Oh my god, this is bullshit. <laughs> What's the next best thing? I fucking uh, mechanical squid. <laughs> I I think the bartender legitimately does not have an answer to that, and is just like, I uh, people do opium, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> That's a pretty good answer. <laughs> That's a pretty good answer. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I'll see how I feel about that later. <laughs> yeah, uh, cool. Can I get you another? 
Yes, please. Maybe something <laughs> a little softer. <laughs> um, yeah, not another Long Island iced tea. I think we're like no. mm-hmm. <laughs> like <laughs> several of those in at this point. Yeah, I think I oh. think I think he just gives you a beer. Just just <laughs> a, a real ass good beer. <laughs> oh. Thank you kindly. <laughs> <laughs> I think Masuno walks up to you and is just like, Ah, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> I was not expecting y'all to come down. Hello. <laughs> I, I was going to talk business, but you know what? I think we can do that in the morning. Uh, kind of like does a quick self evaluation. <laughs> it's like you might be onto something. <laughs> it's Lynn fine. Behind him, nodding very, very uh, indiscreetly up and down. It's it's fine. Uh, uh actually, uh, for you in particular, and uh, he gives you an encrypted communicator. Ooh. And he starts uh, a group text with you and Lynn. I'm. I don't know where to put this so I don't lose it because <laughs> I just might. You know what, uh, Lynn? Could you hold that. on to this for the captain for the yes. time being? Yep. Yep. Snatch. Uh, yep. Wonderful. Um, it's been a lovely evening of business. I will see you tomorrow morning. Uh, bright and early, I suppose. Uh, take your time. <laughs> and he uh, exits. So how'd that go? Oh, shut up. Why are you in question? Why are you so hostile? <laughs> Lynn is was was not as beat red and is now beat red again. <laughs> oh, uh, I mean, uh, are things all right? Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I want to know. There, you... surprisingly, really? a lot better than. I anticipated it going. Um, yeah, he's I, he's doing real well for himself. I apparently. Oh, you don't even know the half of it. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, things are thing things are things are okay. They're okay, and we're gonna be okay with them being okay because that's better than them being not good. Um, okay is actually pretty great. Okay is actually a really great, um... You sound like you're trying to convince yourself. I'm not trying to convince myself. I'm trying to, uh... What's the word? Not hyperventilate. That's... <laughs> that's what uh, it is. Well, you're late to the party, and drinks seem to be the thing right now, so... <laughs> I'm gonna buy... Uh, I'm, we don't have to pay for any of this. I would like five margaritas? Yes, <laughs> now. I'm gonna give you one. Nope. <laughs> I can only make one at a time. I, I Actually, that's a lie. He makes a pitcher. Oh, there, there you go. <laughs> that is all I needed. Um, he sticks a straw in the pitcher. <laughs> like, he, he hands you the pitcher and the margarita glass, and you just, like, move the straw from the glass <laughs> into the pitcher and pour it in, toward the margarita from the glass back into the pitcher. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, no, that's shit. about right. Yeah. He makes it probably about halfway through before he's like, if I have any more, I'm going to throw up. I'm good. <laughs> it's a good margarita. Oh. Amazing. Um, yeah. Elizabeth is, is is content eating. Has been mostly, like, drinking soft. Hasn't really been drinking mm-hmm. a lot of, like, cocktails or whiskey or whatever. And has been, like, shooting the captain, like, shy glances from the table that she's been see- sitting at. Yeah, I think eventually, like, the captain does, like, uh, start to circle back around, um, and, and, uh, while, like, pretty drunk, not gonna lie, not, not to, not sugarcoating anything, uh, is still definitely lucid, <laughs> and, like, uh, mm-hmm. is, you know, uh, not a complete idiot yet, for the most part, <laughs> um, 
That implies that the captain is ever not a complete idiot. There's, there's, there's a threshold. There, there's an idiot threshold in the, you know, <laughs> this hasn't been surpassed yet. You know, Masuno <laughs> called me a himbo, but uh, let's be real here. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> um, yeah. um, the captain finally, like, Cruise settles back down into the... <laughs> Just varying degrees of himbo. <laughs> um, Flavors. Uh, yeah. Um, like, settles down with his beer. Um, and is just like... Uh, I, I don't know if you heard in all the uh, uh, chaos of everything going on uh, toward the end there, but... Uh, uh, I, I let the whole crew know that I was real proud of them, and I just wanted to let you know that you were included in that. Oh. Thanks, Captain. Uh, um, yeah. I, it was... Oh God, it was, I fucking hate flying here. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it sucks real bad. I, um, I, depending on uh, how things go... Uh, apparently tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll see where we go next. Uh, I don't All think right. we'll be here for terribly too long. I hope not. But yeah, th thanks. And I'm glad everyone got out okay. Um, seems like no one was too 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 hurt. And f fuck, is cheesecake good? <laughs> I haven't haven't tried that in a long long time. That you... fucking cheesecake here. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's on the it's over on the the side with the dessert. There's not a whole lot left, um, but clank clank. clank. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, over down yeah on the on the side. Um, yeah, th this is nice. I I just I guess I wish it was somewhere else. If you know what I mean. Ah, uh, we'll uh. We, we probably won't have too much more adventures like this one. I, I've i been kind of worried this whole time about uh... I don't like to lie or omit things. Um, I guess I'm just hoping you don't feel misled about kind of like gestures at the types of jobs that we do <laughs> uh crimes we love crimes uh we yeah we ain't exactly the lawful type look i <sighs> laws as good as those who enforce it and they ain't real good <laughs> gotta say <laughs> um not Look, not exactly a fan of cops or the Alliance at large or like my some of my family fought in the war and it, it weren't for the Alliance. Um, and no, don't worry about it, Captain. I, I get it. Well, that's kind of a relief. No, it's uh -oh. fine. As, I mean, as long as, you know, as long as everyone's fine. Right. I would like to think that uh, Safe. we try not to do any harm in the things that we do, even if they're uh, uh, odd. <laughs> I I mean, there's breaking the law and there's doing wrong, right? Mm. Them's two things. Uh. Ain't always the same thing. Like not using your blinker, that's against the law. Maybe doing harm, but uh, two different things. <laughs> it's all contextual or whatever. I'm about to get all philosophy. I don't. Uh, no, it's all right. I've had like <laughs> too much sugar. Uh, <laughs> I've been. I had. I have had a lot to eat, and I have had an equal lot to drink. <laughs> um. And some of that has canceled out, and some of it has not. Uh, so I, I get it. I got, I got a case of the fuzzies, you know. <laughs> uh, Everything's I to just kind of fuzzy. <laughs> Warm. Ideal place to be. 
I'm before I get to a point where I can't say all the things I'd like to say, um, mm-hmm. I'd, uh, I'd, I was thinking about, uh, your time on board with us and, and, um, uh, you know, we, we, when we had initially talked, it had been about this being a temporary position. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, and well, we got the parts that we needed to fix Ada. Right. Um. But he, uh, here's the thing, though. I the more I think about it, the more uh, I would like to offer you an extended position on the crew. Yeah? Even if Ada can fly her? I, yes, I, I, I think so. I mean, it would, first it would free her up to be able to m- do more different things. Uh, it, you know, it, it's a big thing to be flying a ship all the time and then right. be answering her queries and taking in messages. It's, uh, she's got a lot, a lot going on I'm sure <laughs> I, I know I've flown her she's, she's not a simple ship um, and well uh, her being down for the count so to speak uh, it's kind of scared me I, not, I'm not going to lie about that it uh, it scared the hell out of me thinking that we were going to be downed for uh, who knows how long. Yeah. Oh. And you seem to get on with everybody pretty well. And uh, I mean, Crew's uh, nice. They're, they're nice. They're fun. <laughs> it's a, it's a whole, whole group of folks. <laughs> uh, and box of chocolates all right uh you you did a damn good job today I, that type of flying that is not as much as i you know uh, believe in ada and her abilities uh frankly there's just this is probably one of the most complicated jobs we've ever done, as far as uh, the technicalities. Um, and you... You performed <laughs> today. <laughs> yeah, I just... Yeah. I try. Yeah. I try hard. <laughs> uh, I don't really know what to say to that, other than, yeah. Th- thanks. I, I appreciate it. I... I wanted to, I wanted to do a good job because it ain't ain't no job worth doing bad I guess. <laughs> oh. Well, good. Oh. Cap, do you think we could head back to the ship <laughs> soon? <laughs> uh. Oh, I mean, I guess you, you feeling all right? I I just. It's cold and it's kind of dark out here, and I've I got like you know blankets and a shower and stuff at home. Yeah, I'll I'll walk you back. Uh, I want you to go walking out in the cold and the rain all alone. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, just kind of like gets up and gestures to the, to the two other people in the whole bar, and it's just like, uh, "All right, it's yours. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all later." I like I like to think that Lynn and Doc are actually having a conversation. <laughs> it's the Lynn and Doc. Oh, have the I mean, okay. Okay. I, I I like I like the idea that like 
they're both a little drunk and can actually like communicate. <laughs> oh, honey, Doc's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, an empty bottle of champagne next to him. Doc came, like, saw, and easily. conquered immediately. Mm. <laughs> it's, I think it was kind of one of those things where Masano earlier was just like, thank you to everyone here's hard work. And Doc just snorted and just went right to the alcohol. Because <laughs> <laughs> he knows he did jack shit. Incredible. Oh, uh, yeah, no, I'm totally. What a specimen. I think uh, Elizabeth grabs a uh, six-pack carrier of uh, beer bottles on the way out. Oh, I can see it. like, holy shit, that's a good idea. <laughs> it's just like, how about six more? <laughs> Hell yeah. Lynn, uh, Lynn waves as y'all leave and just is like sipping on probably what's like two-thirds of the margarita still there. Yeah. God. It's starting to get melty. <laughs> just like, yeah, two thirds of a, a pitcher of margarita and just like a plate of crab cakes. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> Content is content. Alternating between the two. Killer. Uh, is there anything else folks would like to do uh, before we move forward? Cool, I'm going to take that as a no. Um, yeah, so Elizabeth and Cap head back to the ship. Um, I think progressively on the way back, Elizabeth gets, like, more clingy. Um, and is just, like, really enjoying, just kind of, like, wrap, wrap, she's, like, wrapped around your arm and it's got, like, a head on your shoulder and it's just, like, heading back. I think... Crafton is fucking red faced the entire time, <laughs> but it is completely content. <laughs> Just lets it be. Can't wait nice. Get you back. I cannot wait. Um, yeah, and you, yeah, you get back to the ship. Um, and I think Elizabeth is tired. <laughs> um. I think she she once y'all are are actually like get back into the cargo bay and have a chance to kind of dry off a little bit. I like to imagine there's like some radiators in the cargo bay that like the crew tends to leave their coats and stuff on just because they're so hot incidentally <laughs> that they like dry stuff off really quick and nice. Mm -hmm. Um so when she's actually got like her coat off and like I imagine you both bring your your six packs of beer up to the kitchen to like actually cool. <laughs> Um, and she just kind of looks at you and is just like, all right, I, I think I'm going to go to bed, but it was, it was a nice evening, Captain. Uh, yeah, um, uh, <laughs> I think, <laughs> I think Captain kind of like, shuffles for a second, like, scratches the back of his neck, and is just like, um... Uh, uh, get, get some rest. Uh, yeah. Um, we'll see be. you in the morning. Yep, yep. And as soon as, the moment she's gone, he's just like, oh, I'm a fucking idiot! <laughs> <laughs> and like, it's just like, oh, what am I supposed to do? And then it's just like, just like re-retrieves the six pack <laughs> and then <laughs> up the like letters. It's like, all right, oh, uh, yeah. drunk guitar time. <laughs> yeah, and Elizabeth uh, goes to bed because she's tired. It's <laughs> like, just like turns on like a. Uh, uh, some animated show that she has downloaded and it's just like softly quietly playing in the background while she falls asleep um yeah cut to the morning question mark <laughs> um did Doc and Lynn make it back <laughs> <laughs> these are good I questions I will leave that to you, Matt. Oh, fuck. Well, I, they definitely can't stay there. 
Oh. Okay. How do we get all the food back? Um, they send an employee. Um, Okay. I feel like we do, um, but it is a harrowing experience, and that employee is not a fan of ours. No, I imagine not. (laughs) I like the idea that even though it's raining and shitty outside, Lynn just has, like, the pitcher in hand. Like, it's, it. it's raining into your margarita pitcher yeah. and you're still like chugging like, away sipping on it yeah but i'll get to the rest God. of this in the morning when i am probably still not sober but hey haven't had a margarita like this in a while thank you for the dog pitcher. cheers to that <laughs> yeah. this is my best friend in the whole world his first name is Doctor. His last name is Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I think Doc is literally just blessed enough. He just kind of starts laughing and like slaps you on like the back. Ooh, it's right in the like, scar tissue. Super. Oh yeah, pretty much. Like super jovial, super friendly. <laughs> he's like has an arm wrapped around your shoulder now, and he's like excitedly talking about like some weird ass shit he did. When he was Lynn's age. Oh my god. The first time he lost his license, probably. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming it's just a horribly <laughs> fucked up situation. And we're just like, ha ha ha, so funny. 100%. Yeah, the employee, that's exactly meanwhile, has like extracted one of the bottles from the, the leftovers <laughs> and is just like drinking it on the way. I need this for me. For me, yeah, no. I- like, yeah. earbuds Doc's are in. <laughs> Doc is focused on telling this story, so he won't notice. Incredibly. I don't think he that wants to. It was, it, that wasn't even... And the best part was, that wasn't even the worst thing that I had done during that, situ- listen, during that whole part. Listen, <laughs> the one guy that reported me, his name, Dr. Richard Long. 100% <laughs> we all called him Dr. Dick Short. <laughs> Funniest shit ever heard. Still one of the funniest things. <laughs> he was a dickhead. He was a dickhead. Short. That guy was himself. <laughs> Excellent. Um, yeah. How's everyone doing in the morning? Hungover as fuck. <laughs> um, Felix is happy and up and doing making breakfast for everyone <laughs> doc is still oh, asleep <laughs> uh solace is actually probably doing like moderately well comparatively uh, is definitely used to uh you um, know heavy drinking but uh isn't exactly you know are you as doing as good as usual <laughs> Are you doing okay considering the fact that when you get up and come into the cabin, Derby is still there working? You know, in your room? Oh. Uh, hi, Derby. <laughs> what in the fuck are you doing? Derby's just in the in the room, just looking at the computer. Looking at all the computers and systems with all the parts he salvaged. What do you think I'm doing? Like, clearly tired. In my quarters? <laughs> wait, wait for me. <laughs> well, because you, yeah, yeah. you sleep in the cockpit normally, you right? You sleep Kevin? in, yeah. Oh, I thought. Uh, so, what I've been imagining this whole time is like a loft above that. Right. That is yeah. separate. Oh. Well, but he's still oh, like no. there. <laughs> oh, okay. I see. Well, not like down. in the loft, but like he's, he's yeah. I see. N- never mind. I guess it's not as No, I, I think this is a good scene. <laughs> no, I'm. Uh. Uh. How you how you doing, buddy? Have you did you sleep at all? No, not much. Dozed off, dozed off to, for about an hour or two around three a.m. I think three a.m. I don't know the relative time stamp of the of this planet. Three a.m. our time. Let's just say, dozed off sure. for a bit. Got had to look. I don't know what half of these parts are for the most part. Learning as I go here. <laughs> I don't know exactly what they do. Figuring out where to put them. Bit harder. 
Ada's not, not Ada's not a simple machine, Captain. I I, I totally understand that. I, listen, don't don't wear yourself out, Derby. Uh, uh, why don't you uh take a little load off? It, it's been uh a hell of a day. D- days. Uh, time's getting a little weird. <laughs> um. Uh, don't don't exhaust yourself. Uh, we, we'll. We'll get her all figured out. Uh, Cat. I... Oh. No, 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 go. No. No, go. No. You sure? Uh, Derby's like, I, I gotta do this right, though. It needs to be done. I mean, we're not gonna. I mean, we're, I mean. Elizabeth's not continuing to join us. Is not going to continue to join us, is she? I mean, she's just a temp, right? Uh. Ada needs to be running, or else you or, I, or you or me is going to be flying this plane. Shit. Yeah, about that. Um. Mm-hmm. We talked last night, and mm-hmm. uh, I'm extending her contract. The one that we're worried about because they're chatty. Yep. <laughs> You're the boss. <laughs> <laughs> that was Derby. the most like. <laughs> uh, I mean, is that all right? I mean, is no, oh, no, no, no. It, 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 it's fine. I don't mind them. They're not. They're nice and all, it's just, I mean, we still have, you know, a lot of things to worry about, given the nature of what we have, ju- of who we are working for, who we just worked for, what those, the person we have just worked for has ha- has done against us, and the fact that we are going to have to resolve that situation. Do we plan on keeping her in the dark, Captain? And do we, and if we don't plan on keeping her in the dark, are we? Are you at all? Are you ready to face the consequences of when she talks, or if she talks? Uh, I know. I know. I, I make slip ups, but I'm not that stupid. I know not to talk to cops, and not in random passerbys. I'm. I've got a meeting to go to, <laughs> so I will give you my thoughts on the matter in like uh, a couple hours. Oh. Yeah, no, no problem. Just I, I, this doesn't mean I don't trust you. I trust you. I, just trying to I, make, I, make, I'm just trying to keep things open between us, you know, like always. I, I appreciate that, Derby. I, I it, you're being mindful. I. That you're 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 kind of right. Uh, we'll. Derby's like, yeah, yeah, I am right. <laughs> kind of <laughs> sounds right. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, we'll be back. Some sort of meeting about. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll be back in a bit. Um, yeah. I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna go get some sleep then. I guess. I, I think that's need... a good idea. <laughs> I, I'm in support of that plan. Uh, sorry, Ada, you're gonna have to wait to be fully operational again. For... That's all right, Derby. You seem really exhausted, and I have given <laughs> you several notifications of similar <laughs> content over the past <laughs> eight hours. You were talking to me for the past eight hours. You need to go to bed, Derby. <laughs> Yeah, she's got she's got that little temporary voice box thing going like, on. Like you you can see the uh, the like voice log and it's like <laughs> one a.m. You need to go to bed, Derby. Two a.m. You need to go to bed, Derby. Three a.m. You really need to go to bed, Derby. <laughs> uh, okay then, might as well. But yeah, yeah one more. Th- uh, well, oh, yeah. Well, Ada, actually, one more thing. Derby takes out a, uh... If you try to get up to fix me before you've gotten full night's rest, I will lock the door to your room. I am. (laughs) No, not that. I just need you to, um... 
takes out the all the file the like the, the all the data he got from the ship. Uh, can you just save a couple copies of this or a copy of this? Would Certainly. You? Uh, Thank you very pick much. a pick a USB port. Uh, how many types of USB ports are there in this? Thirteen. Do you know what this one is? Uh, USB Type Q. Oh. A third from the left, second uh, down. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Uh. They're labeled, but awfully dusty. <sighs> God, man, it should have been. Man, I should have made it a floppy disk. <laughs> we, can, we can retroactively make it a floppy disk. A mega floppy. A me it's like big. It's thick. <laughs> it's like it's like literally the size of like a VHS cassette, but it's just hard hard data, yeah. and it just like chunk. Yeah. Clicks Sorry. in like a um. Oh. Specific kind of cartridge that I'm thinking of. Basically like a, a, an NES cartridge or something like that. Yeah. yeah. It's like... Right. And if you could, isolate the whatever black box data you got in there. I'm just curious about a couple things. Make that easily accessible. Don't... Oh. I'll oh. save it to the desktop. Thank you. <laughs> Correction. <laughs> I'll put a shortcut to it on the desktop, as this is too much data to fit on my system drive. Okay. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Thank you, thank you, Wade. Go to sleep, Derby. Um, I'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just to let me walk over there in a minute, gather my parts. Okay. Walks away. Sorry, I'm not going <laughs> No, I love it. Um, yeah, at at the time that you set, I assume, so Lynn, I assume you give Captain the communicator? Um, I didn't last night. You didn't last <laughs> night, that's true. Captain, no. do you remember that you were supposed to get a communicator? Uh, probably vaguely. <laughs> um, I will I say Lynn is awake, he's in the commissary, but his head is on the table, and sunglasses are in front of his arms. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's gonna be one of them days. Uh, do you? Okay. Who remembers? Uh, I was given a thing, but then I decided that was a bad idea, and then someone else was given a thing. No. Nobody's. No, you didn't. You didn't decide anything, Captain. You're already too far gone. Um, ah, oh, it's in my other coat. Ah, oh, it's in my other coat. I need the thing, I don't, <laughs> I need the thing that I was given. I'm supposed to have. Captain, in my room, I'm not getting up. In my That's room, fair. um, he's like talking to you, face like in the <laughs> desk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or in the table. Like, in my room, there's the coat, it, it's probably on the floor. I think I just I threw it on the floor. I will uh, try to navigate respectfully and retrieve this thing. <laughs> right, right side pocket. It might also be in my pants. I don't know where those are. Oh, are you gonna make me dig through your drawers? All right, I'll, I'll get it. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just jog slightly back up to the fucking quarters and start searching for the uh, communicator. Yeah. <laughs> how how easy is it to find, Lynn? I think that's uh, something only you get to decide. It wasn't his pants, but his pants were next to the bed. <laughs> so <laughs> there's that. Did not. You, you hear a little like. Day. Be all right. Be do. Be do. Oh, be do. All right. Just scrambles and tries to like get it. <laughs> uh, checks the message. Or... Yeah. Uh, so it's basically like a little burner phone. Um, that operates by Cortex, so you can long distance. Um, and the, uh, yeah, the message is just like, okay to meet outside in five? And it was like three minutes ago. Uh, yes. It's like, yes, it's all lowercase, no function. <laughs> Send. Excellent. Uh, in another two minutes, uh, he's standing outside in his usual fashionable tall dark cloak and a thermos of coffee. 
Um, Lin he is outside. Certainly did not go as ham. <laughs> um, excellent. And he and actually, I think he steps into the cargo bay and it shuts just so it's not because it's still storming outside. It has not stopped. Um, and just having a little indoor area is a decent idea. And it's just like yeah. so. Um, Lynn and I spoke last night. Um, you'd offered previously, according to him, to help him with uh, some of the ghosts still following him. Right. Um, would y'all like to talk about this in, uh, I don't know, a slightly more enclosed area? How enclosed sure. are we talking? We're already inside the ship. I mean... Depends on what we're going to be talking about. <laughs> uh, wherever you would like. Wherever it would make you most comfortable. Um, yeah, probably just like... The, maybe like the kitchen table, basically. Like, yeah, and just like reasonable. <laughs> shoes anyone who's um, not relevant away. When you walk past crew quarters, you note that Derby's room door is locked. Um, oh, oh my gosh. Oh lord. Uh, it's locked in. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Masuno, Masuno sits with you and drinks coffee. Um, so, uh, I don't know... It might be a good idea to fill you in on the situation as a whole. And I think it's reasonable to say that Masuno just kind of explains the situation to you. Like, the, the, the details of the kind of personal and political situation that is going on with Lin and Kichiro and Tanaka and the Yakuza. Right. Like, basically what we talked, what Matt and I said last night. Like, basically gives you that conversation. Mm. Um, for brevity, I would prefer not to just say all of it again. Um, <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, I believe I have a way. I, I conferred with some of my associates uh, this morning and last night uh, that um, we uh, have two possible plans of action, which is to either find the money that is supposedly missing and thereby um, liberate Lin uh, at, from uh, some of the crimes of which he is being held accountable, um, particularly the crimes for which he is being chased. Um... And, or, or sorry, or uh, either we find the money or we find evidence of that uh, money being there in the first place. Um, huh. Well, doesn't that idea sound familiar? Looks at, like, Lynn, like, intently. <laughs> doesn't that just ring a fucking bell? He just kind of, like, raises his hands, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it counts when Masano says it, but... <laughs> 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 all right, all right, anyways. Um, so, uh, I would like to extend the... I can do this with Lin and my own men, um, but I thought I might offer an opportunity to do more crimes with us. Oh, jeez, um, we love those. <laughs> we do. I do, certainly. Um, mostly kind of insofar fun. as... Um, if we go through with this, beyond it liberating our good friend Lynn here, um, somewhat, uh, it will also conveniently put me into a uh, potentially and probably more influential position among the syndicate at large. Um, and I would be all too happy to extend my uh, gratitude and favor to such an intrepid crew such as yours. Uh, so... I'm also planning to pay you through the ass if you get this done. I mean... So then I don't have, you know... Are you familiar with the concept of deniable assets, Captain? Why don't you explain it to me just so that we're on the same page? Sure. Um, 
if I send my men to do this, this is this, which is quite, not quite risky, somewhat risky in case uh, Lin here is not telling the truth. But I believe, we all believe that Lin here is telling the truth. Um, if my men got caught, it would get back to me. And that would be a problem for me. Uh, is being seen investigating on the grounds of another Yakuza family member and potentially trying to do espionage? Bad look, politically. If you all get caught doing this, well, hey, I don't know you. Some brigands trying to steal from the rich. Now, officially, of course, I will be giving you my full support. So, everything I've done up to this point has been for Lynn's sake. Not the family or whatever, not, you know, I'm interested in Lynn's well-being. I, I don't, I'm not sure I feel right with it. I hope you're not implying that we would be beholden to... No, quite the opposite. Um, I'm obviously not offering you <laughs> a position amongst my rank. No, no. Um, but rather that, um, should you need a favor, some sort of, uh, support that I could give in the future, should this, uh, end profitably for me... I would be altogether too willing to do so. And if after this job you simply want to abscond with your money and never speak to me ever again, I will be all the happier. Lynn kind of like shifts at that. Okay. Yes. <laughs> oh, is that yes to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's... Ugh. I have to drink so much last night. Um, <laughs> Captain, you don't... You don't need to... Do anything you don't want to do. Um, but... At a certain point, like... If you're not comfortable with this... Um, I... Would request to step away for a while. Alternatively, um, and the reason why you're looking at me like that, Masano, is because I do want to talk to you, like we mentioned last night. I know, just, I I would like that as well. I, you don't have to stay with the crew after the of this if you don't want to, I suppose. Captain, I'll leave all of that up to you. Around the word talk. <laughs> Um, I like that the captain just has completely the wrong idea <laughs> of what Masuno and Lin's relationship is like. Currently, yeah. Currently, yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, <clears throat> also, flip side, captain, um, <laughs> the feast last night, that, uh, bigger than I was used to, kind of looks at Masano, when I was, uh, when we, when we were to running together, when we were, um, anyways, um, but still, like, not by a lot, like, the, I had a lot of money, a lot of luxury, and money, it, I'm gonna stop talking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. um. I, I, from what I'm hearing, this, this sounds exactly like what I was hoping for, to be honest. Uh, I want to help you get to a place where you don't have to run and, and get blown the fuck up anymore. Um, That'd be nice. I imagine that would be detrimental to your business. <laughs> and to my health, weirdly. Uh, 
I'd like to be in a place where maybe we don't have to work so damn hard. <laughs> don't we all? So. so as far as I'm... I want to take on more responsibility. Hey, shut up. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You're not wrong, and that's why I'm mad at you. <laughs> yeah. What if I worked agreeable. more hard for more money? <laughs> uh, this all sounds agreeable to me. Oh. All right. Um, I know where it will happen, likely. Um, and I'll be going on ahead. I've got a short throw shuttle that I use typically to get between places. Um, it is going to be uh, closer to the center, still on the border. More closer to the rim. Rim planets is what we're looking at. Um, fuck, am I just going to call this planet New Japan? <laughs> That's up to you. Oh... Uh... Call it, um... It's not there. It's not. It's not going to be like the Yakuza Syndicate homeworld, though. That's New Japan. What like the wrestling? Um, Kawasaki. <laughs> My brain's on one thing. What's a good name for a planet that is the home base of a particular? kind of scummy Yakuza Lord. Any ideas? Um, mm. It's a good... I was muted this entire time. Oh no. Oh, welcome back. <laughs> I was just like, what if we just Yakuza it and just go Kamurocho? Hell yeah! <laughs> Kamurocho, that's, that the, that's yes! what it is. Yes! I'm gonna make a note of that before I forget. Uh, K A M U Kamu Rocho. I'll just Google it. A A M U R. Oh, I was right. C H O. Cool. Thank you. Kamu Rocho. Yakuza Wiki. <laughs> Notes. Kamu Rocho. What are you Kamu laughing at? The gif I sent. Just <laughs> that. Just. Shiro. That's over pretty much what Yakuza is like. The overlay of conversation. Thank <laughs> gift. I think I got to it for a second. Funny. <laughs> um, Here, all right. a different gift instead. Oh, are we just slamming Yakuza gifts now? Ooh. Oh, no, that one isn't. Oh, I'm hungry. Anyway. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's not too far you're in yakuza you're on here where you are right now planetarily is like the fringes of yakuza territory mm -hmm. um this would be closer to the center of yakuza territory so it's close but it's not too close it's definitely closer than here to hermes it's probably like mm -hmm. a, a week i'm gonna say a week of travel from here to uh kamurocho um and uh Kichiro's gonna get there first, because he's got a really fast little ship. Um, and he just... Masuno. You're right. Um, yeah, and Masuno goes, uh, I'll give you more details when we're closer, and I can meet you there. Um, sound amenable? Seems like a plan to me. Um... And, uh, well, I, I'm not exactly throwing more parties for you. Uh, feel free to stay here to recover uh, for as long as you need, refuel, etc. Um, your docking fees are taken care of, so don't worry about it. Oh, wow. Uh, the, uh, thanks a bunch. Advantages of working with the family. Uh, last note, um... How incognito should I be? Very. Yeah. Okay. Um, you're fine here because it's it's far out. You're gonna have problems getting closer. Um, 
I'd say take a take a page from your old partner's book and wear a mask, maybe. I know I it's kitsch, but thing with me, so up to you. I'll figure something out. Some kind of hood. Uh, you'll figure it out. You know, like anarchy, but make it fashion. <clears throat> Are you, you always? You tend to do things like that. You know, you're just referencing the that mask, the Guy Fox mask. It's a bit, it's a bit cliche, but I mean, look, who doesn't love a good a good cliche? Damn, you're right. I don't know what the fuck y'all are talking about. Somewhat anachronistic. <laughs> anyway, sorry, my apologies, Captain. Um, we'll give you more details on the way. I promise I'll do my best to keep you out of active line of fire. You aren't soldiers. You're not. We're not doing some sort of storming the castle. We're doing something more covert, and I believe the fact that your vessel is a um, salvage ship may actually be of some significant advantage if things go to plan. That was going to be uh, one of my concerns, but I think that puts me a bit more at ease. I, um, well, not firsthand. I, I have heard more of your crew's abilities and think I could... Um, knit together a, a more appropriate plan uh, thereof all right we we won't take too long here but uh, we'll, we'll take our time we'll take the time we need yeah send uh, me a wave will do all right uh am i needed for anything else you've got my communicator you've got my communicator you've got your mm -hmm. leftovers <laughs> did those. I we um shit, I'll just do it. And Lynn like sits there for a bit and realizes nobody knows what he's talking about and he's like, Oh. Well the we uh the person who escorted us probably hates us, so I'm gonna go apologize for us. Ah because I was drunk. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. So I have a picture of Margarita. I'll was pretty good. That was I'll, a good time. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> Some things never change. All right. Wait, I'm going <laughs> to go and attend to some things and be on my way. It's been a pleasure doing business with you, and hopefully it will be a pleasure doing business with you. Uh, ditto. <laughs> uh, you have a good one. All right. And he leaves. Oh, yeah, just like uh, escorts Yeet. him out. Uh. All right. So, you've got some time. Mm. Um, I figured this would probably be a good place to say you've got some time. You've got some money. Um, if you want to do some character advancement, if you have any conversations you want to have. Um, I sent her to, like, Captain Derby left things off a little tenuously, maybe. <laughs> um, and I don't know if Captain has told everyone else whether he, he intends to keep Elizabeth on board or not. And how they might feel about it. Uh, yeah, I, can, I, can we actually, like, uh, what would other guess. people like to do? Because I, I think I would like to talk to Lynn briefly. Um since we were just in a conversation, but. All right. Please do so. Uh, is this, has has Lynn had more time to recover um, or is this like directly after? Uh, that is up to you because they probably tried to start a conversation, but if you were unreceptive, <laughs> he won't get the message. <laughs> it's say, it's not right. that he is unreceptive, it is just, what mind state should I pretend to be in for a bit? <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, well, I just wanted to let you know. Um, uh, I offered Elizabeth an extended contract. Um, oh. 
but everyone reacts so weirdly to this. Uh, like, am I wrong? Is that such a bad thing? I'd like to do a roll. <laughs> if, oh? What kind of roll? I would like to... I like an information roll. Like a... Like a... Can I tell that the captain has the hots for Elizabeth roll? Uh... <laughs> I think that is entirely up to the captain. And by the captain, I mean Hannah. Uh, I, I still maintain in this as D&D &D that if you roll against another player, the other player gets to right, so decide the... all those things. Um, Gets to manage the roll effectively. I don't think Solus is very good at hiding things. Solus is definitely not a liar. Um... Or, and when he tries, he is just canonically bad at it. Um, so, uh, if if you want to make accusations, I don't think Solace will, uh, uh, be <laughs> very, um, like, Solace wears his heart on his sleeve. Um, I think, I think Lynn. You can't, you might, maybe can't tell, because I think we're, this is probably just afterwards, is my <laughs> guess. So he's still wearing the sunglasses, and he kind of, like, lowers them, and you see his eyes, and then he, like, squints because it's too bright, and then puts the sunglasses <laughs> back up, and it's like, holy shit. Oh. You. Uh, hypocrite. <laughs> you fucking hypocrite. Explica me. Why am I a hypocrite? I don't know if that's the right word for this context. I'm still a bit drunk from last night. <laughs> what? What the fuck are you talking about, you damn? <laughs> what? Captain's got the hots. He's like pointing a finger. The <laughs> uh, I mean. So. <laughs> 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 I... <laughs> uh, I'm, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about any of this, but <laughs> I I do think it's a bad idea but also i'm doing stupid things also so follow yeah, your heart and so fuck you i don't know no, 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 okay, okay no i listen uh i would like to think that i'm a lot more professional than than me dude I, oh <laughs> Let's go, not, Captain. Let's no, 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 no. <laughs> I ain't keeping her on just because I like her. I mean, I'm not gonna fucking deny nothing. It is like, but like, you so, like, you saw how like her flying. She flies this thing like a champ. She did amazing yesterday. And she is a team player, and she, I, so far, things have worked out. I, after having to do without Ada for a bit, as, as much as I, you know, she's great, but I don't think the weight of this whole ship should be left to Ada. Mm. I think we could use the extra help. <sighs> and she's damn good help. I'm... I, I, I know that we...
the smaller the crew, um, the harder the secrets are to spill. The more you expand, the more personalities you have to deal with, the harder that becomes. And she is a new element. We're going to go and we're going to work. Um, with with Masano. If somebody runs their fucking mouth and he gets hurt, how? <sighs> We'll deal with that when it comes. If it comes. It's... And it's not just Elizabeth. I think this is me just... Oh boy, that sobered me up quick. That This is <laughs> me... Um... <sighs> Ex expressing a real fear moving forward. If this were just me, if this were just me, I'd be fine. I wouldn't worry about any of this shit. Correct. And God forbid anything happens to the rest of the crew while we're doing this, you know? So I... I don't, I don't dislike her. I don't think she's a bad pilot. Don't think she's a bad person. But I'm just worried about crew expansion, especially right. Now. So after this, after this, I wouldn't give a shit if if my name gets cleared and everything's copacetic and hunky dory and everybody's happy. You know, whatever. I, I, two fucks could be given. We can deal with any of the ramifications, but those ramifications would only lie with us and not with you know him or my sister, or other people that I care about that are still in the organization. Um, that's all I got to say about that. <sighs> you got some points. Uh, I'll... The offer's already been made. I, I would feel like shit unmaking it, but I'll I'll think things over a little more. Uh, I guess I have to go have this conversation again <laughs> with someone else. Well, you have fun with that. I'm going to get some bread in me some real bread that yeah. I actually have, and I'm going to go pass out. All right. And whatever the decision comes to, I will accept. I, but as long, and I, I, I feel like you have taken my concerns to mean something. So I, I don't know. This is a lot. This whole, all of this is really quite a lot right now. Uh, yeah, it's been... Uh, you go rest up to burn through some more alcohol. <laughs> I'll go take care of business. Yep, that sounds good. That sounds like a great plan. And he, like, he just kind of gets up and goes, which is also my cue to go grab some more chocolate milk. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm convinced I'll, I'll you're there. like 30% chocolate milk by volume. Chocolate milk. Oh, at least. Um, so Your bones gonna, are chocolate now. I'm going to take off for What's wrong, Matt? Minutes. You've barely oh, touched okay. your limited edition Sonic the Hedgehog <laughs> chocolate milk. <laughs> I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> uh, it, that's, it's a conversation for another time. Um... Yeah, you're about to have a go have that conversation again with someone else. Uh, 
if Derby would like to. I could actually stand yeah. and take a really quick bathroom break, though. Yeah. All right. Reasonable. I'll be back in like I haven't had water minutes. in, like, an hour, and I think it would be a good idea for me to go get some more of that. Okay. A lot. <laughs> oh, oh, I do have a very quick, I guess, this is kind of breaking yes. immersion, I guess, but... Um, you do not have, like, information that Derby prepared for, like, do you have information prepared for what Derby got out of the ship? Yes. Or would you rather not? Okay, you have I that do. information? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Yeah. I, I actually had that prepared last session. <laughs> um, because I anticipated someone might get curious. Okay. Um, but yeah. It's not, like, in a document I can give you. I just have, I, I have the information. I have the information. I don't have like a document prepared. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get more water. Be back in a minute. back and everybody is silent? Hello? They're all getting uh, drinks or doing a bathroom break right now. Oh, okay. I didn't... I've just literally been muted for like the last half hour, so... <laughs> <laughs> I know I actually want to have a conversation with Felix at some point. Oh, okay. Sure thing. What about... So I know how to prepare? <laughs> um... I think the idea behind it is like a potential setup for the very end. At least an oh. option for it. I bet. So. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Huh. What if we do? I will think about this. Thank you. What happened? Uh, discussion times. Oh. You'll find out eventually. It, 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 oh. Everyone will find out eventually. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck yeah, my tacos are finally here. It's only been <gasps> oh, an oh, hour yeah. and a half. Taco Baco. Taco. God. We love Taco, Taco Baco. Bell. I, can, I, can't, I can't do Taco Bell anymore. No. That's re you sound like yeah. an adult. That seems reasonable. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> oh, I got man. so I would kill for Taco Bell. The last time. I got uh, that's, so yeah, sick. That'll, that'll put you off it. So I'm getting currently Taco Burrito King. Oh, they're Solid so good, tacos. though. Taco Burrito King's great. They're really good. They're I just good. wish their Spanish rice had a little more, like, mm. kick to it. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a little bland. It's, it's very, like, mild yellow. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Welcome. Uh, Captain Derby? Question mark? Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and I just grabbed my food, but I'll be it. around. Yay. So they can have their talk. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think once Derby is up, um, the, the captain will, like, 
find you, catch up to whatever it is you're doing. Mm. Darby's still in his room. Uh. Yeah, we'll just kind of like give a little like knock, knock, knock. Door's still locked. Uh. <laughs> Uh, has it been eight hours since you were told to go to sleep? <laughs> no. <laughs> he woke up a little he, a little after six hours. Doors are still locked. <laughs> There's a little uh, timer, I guess. Yeah, or something like that. You've got like, I don't know, like an hour or something. Well, that's inconvenient. Uh, Ada, can we get this <laughs> lock lifted? Uh, no. I think we're. Oh. <laughs> Even if I ask nicely. Correct. Jeez. Looks like you're just chatting. Yeah, I guess we're having this conversation. Derby needs to sleep, and I do not appreciate having my internals worked on on by someone who is not fully conscious. <laughs> um. I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll come back later. <laughs> and it's just like awkwardly walks away. And it's just like, damn. <laughs> she means business. All right. <laughs> I have been recently introduced to the concept of mortality, and I dislike it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's disconcerting for sure. Uh, In my case, <laughs> most of the fear is obsolescence. <laughs> uh, relatable, also. <laughs> Don't let me die, Captain. Haha, <laughs> 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 Android hey, humor. Hey, Ada, can you please get off full ship comms? Because <laughs> this is really disconcerting, because I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> Click. <laughs> Cool. I'm anxious now. <laughs> um, more than before. Uh, we'll return to Derby's quarters after a fucking hour has passed. It is having a mild crisis. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have put that floppy de disc in. She knows too much. <laughs> well, and she's at like half processing power, right? So she can't like fully deal with it like she would have been able to otherwise. <laughs> Oh mm -hmm. my god. Oh. Little glitch, still a little glitchy right now. Mm. Just insofar as she's become petty and afraid. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you come back in an hour and the door's unlocked, I guess. Well, <laughs> Calm him. Uh, how, how you feeling, Derby? Der Derby inside has made a little pat a ball, but like, a, a, what, but instead of a, a like a ball. Imagine like a little slinky or something like that. <laughs> he's he's just been doing that for a while. Uh, uh doing fine, Captain. You? Dink, 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 I'm doing dink. all right. Uh, we had kind of started a conversation, and I. Well, I thought we should continue, continue. it. I suppose. Mhm. Mm so you've given some thought to it then. The the implications of keeping her. Keeping our new companion on board. Not companion as in companion, I mean companion in. Not implying it. Right. He yeah, faintly blushes. <laughs> <laughs> um. I, I, I had a talk with Lynn while you were asleep. And, um. Mm -hmm. He raised some good points and. Now I'm just wondering if I'm being selfish. I don't know. No, oh, ain't nothing so ain't no, nothing selfish about wanting to have some safety, some say, some safety in a some safety. You know, a good pilot. No, I mean neither neither you or me. We're, we're not good at this. You look. Let's let's level on that, right? I, I'll readily admit it. I ain't any good at flying, really. Yeah, no, but I just and look, I wouldn't say it's selfish to want to have that. I mean, again, for it's for our own safety. I, I in fact, I appreciate that notion. 
I'm just like uh, I was just worried that you weren't fully embracing the co potential consequences of these actions, given the fact that I mean, not only are you, are you bringing up another potential another potential secret holder on our on our on the ship, but you are also unwittingly willingly putting them into the situation that we now find ourselves in, or have been finding ourselves in since the little bomb incident. I think it's like for her own safety, I don't know if she wants to be a part of that. I think that's something you have to talk to her about. Uh yeah. Um you're you're hundred percent correct, Derby. I she has to know what we're up against. Or not know. Or uh or not know when we cut it off. Shoot. I trust your decisions, Captain, but there are, uh, but I'll have, I can have Ada, we have enough money and I can fix Ada in time. We'll have her up and run it again. I believe you, Derby. Um, I guess I've got another important conversation to have. Okay. I don't know. Why do I gotta be talking so much sense? God damn it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> Caroline, I'm sorry. Caroline. <laughs> no, just... R.I.P. Taco Meat. Oh, no! <laughs> I waited an hour and a half for these tacos. Unfortunately. This is not what I ordered! I mean, that sounds like complaint territory. Oh, also, it is. Man. Trust me. <laughs> With mouthful of food. <laughs> I'm eating yeah, the rice. Yeah, I'm gonna this. You're still hungry. No, I, I, no, like, there's no reason time. not to eat it. I, um, I agree. Mm -hmm. Um, Bam. yeah. Uh, relevant Bam. for mechanical things. Maybe. Mm -hmm. I, I just want to say this as a GM if it influences any of your decisions collectively. So, um, we currently have the distinction for the the love lace which is uh fewer shares so they're like don't need to pay crew i don't have asset right that um would, yeah so if you hire elizabeth that doesn't go away mm, um okay. i'm not gonna take that away because the basically the point you made was like well if ada doesn't need to fly the ship she can manage everything else better mm. um and i just think that's super true because flying a spaceship takes up a lot of her processing power oh. and just managing all of its individual systems so then she can like direct herself more toward the hydroponic garden the actually like energy management across the ship individual like query requests for all the people like i i'm effectively going to read that as ada now has time to continue saving you money in other places and can take over flying the ship if she needs to and can right. still take, I think the system override complication becomes a lot more amusing as soon as you have a human pilot involved. But that's just personal. <laughs> or Ada's just like, no, 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 I know how to do it better and just steers you in, in a different direction. Um, okay. Anyway, I just like, if that affects any of your decision making, I wanted to make that clear. Uh, and one more thing. Uh, oh, can we actually do something interrupt this possibly to so i can ask you a question sure please do derby derby did listen within that hour to some of the black box information cool what um, did he find out yeah so i uh, do you want me to just like lore dump at you yeah do it cool so um a few things the uh ss indomitable in particular was um stationed there during the uh unification wars um, because uh, Poseidon uh, has a lot of underwater natural resources. 
mm-hmm. um, which are really valuable to, you know, like the manufacturer. Like there's lots of metals underwater. Um, which is really valuable for the manufacture of ships and weapons and logistics and all that, right? Um, so there were several battle cruisers around, and uh, while the Alliance definitely didn't, or not the Alliance, the uh, Rebels definitely didn't have the or the Independence. That's the that's the political term for the the uh, the brown coats. Um, definitely didn't have the capabilities to take those resources for themselves, they would be super willing to cut them off. Um, so, uh, the SS Indomitable is stationed as effectively a defense carrier. Um, you know, the, you get a little bit more info on the prototypes. Um, a lot of it is redacted, etc. If you wanted to do, mm. spend some, like, if Ada was at full power and wasn't doing anything else, she could probably spend some time cracking into it. Um, but uh, what you get is that what the prototypes you extracted are some kind of, like, stealth vessel. Uh, like, an aquatic uh, vehicle specifically designed to not show up on even advanced sensors. Um, which is useful for a lot of reasons. Like smuggling. Um, and among uh, all the defenses, kind of, that the, the ship had in general, they were also testing a lot, out a lot of automated crew, because ideally, even better than having soldiers stationed on the SS Indomitable to protect the resources, is just having, you don't need to pay robots, so just have robots do it instead. Um, mm. Where uh, the Alliance is, like, towing into trying to automate their war force, um, because no one can stop them. Um, so... They, they have some... There's a little bit of that going on in the ship. So, actual black box information of what's going down is uh, the... You have logs of the ship noting that there are um, unidentified vessels breaking orbit. Um, and then uh, reports of uh, multiple independent fighters effectively doing strafing runs of the battleship uh, with artillery that is heavier than they should have, but they do for some reason. Um, unidentified this, by the Alliance. And this is back during the war, This is correct. during the Unification War. Um, okay. This is, I, I don't know, We I think I, I kind of soft said something like, like, not quite a century ago. Like, we're talking like 50 to 70 years ago is the Unification War. Um, as opposed to Firefly, which is like right after the Unification War. Um, we're, we're, we've moved a little bit further in the setting. Um, uh, yeah, so, like, during pro- the Unification War proper, um, yeah, th- this happened, and then they got wrecked, and because their communications stuff got damaged, um, they got reported to the- so the, the, the logs note that their, um, communication signals have been damaged, so they can't send out, like, pings to, um, like, other Alliance cruisers, and then they stop getting supply drops. Um... So, a mixture of the fact that the vessel was slowly sinking um, and they were no longer being supplied meant that meant that the crew effectively either uh, jumped off on uh, like support vessels because there there are it, 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 there there were effectively like big lifeboats um, or uh, drowned or got starved out mm. is basically what happened to the end of that. Um, yeah, and there's a little bit more information about, like, there's some scientific operations going on on the ship, there's a lot of, like, data testing about, like, the, the, um, automated military units and some of the, some, like, some of the submarine stuff, and, like, there's a lot of boring logistical stuff. Um, yeah. like, you, this, you get all of this information that I'm telling you, but you, you do have to wade through, like, hours of just terminable boring nonsense so basically what derby has gone is surface level yeah um but that there's not a ton beyond that you could probably sell this information to someone if you really wanted to mm. <laughs> mm. i'm gonna give you an asset black box info and none of this was handed over to you're the last you're you, as far as you know you're the only person to touch this box hmm Mm. 
I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> that was all I need to know. Excellent. Then in that, then in that case, in, depending on what kind of information were there, Derby was going to have to have another conversation about the captain, but not anymore. <laughs> okay. Uh, God, where were we? I'm sorry I interrupted. No. Was, uh, I think that we was were, pretty much yeah, it. We weren't really... Uh, we were captain just had talk with Lynn. Pretty yeah. much just wrapped up your talk okay. with Derby. Yeah. Yeah. And... And Ka I guess Derby will also say to Captain though, at this point. Also, uh, when I was digging through the ship's information, I did find some stuff about automation, specifically uh, automation of weapons, ETC, but just to keep you in the loop, I'm going to look a bit more into that, just to see how this could possibly apply to Ada, how we could... I don't want to say improve her, but... Uh, oh, you want to dig a little bit more into, like, the Warmind AI stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Derby's curiosity has been piked. Okay. Uh, that's going to take a lot more time. Because it's... Oh, no, uh, com complexity shoots through the roof when you get to that yeah. point. Because it's no longer, like, Word documents and data logs and, and spreadsheets and stuff like that. You get into, like, hard data. Yeah. I'm going to have to put on my thinking cat for this but yeah D just derby you derby you have to tell me do you actually have okay. a thinking cap <laughs> it's more of a ritual of sorts mm -hmm. derby when he works is my thinking nightcap takes a shot what <laughs> he has two forms uh, or at least two method two like states of being working and not working imagine those when he's working He's always wearing a, a trucker hat mm -hmm. of sorts. And that's just his own little mental indication. Okay, I'm working. And he calls it his thinking cap. Excellent. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you for that. Uh, uh, well, of course, always be sure to run it by her first. But Yeah, of course. Um, oh, yeah. Also, just so you know, what we gave the Yakuza... Was totally a was a experimental stealth a stealth submarine with again this is very advanced mil, mil, military stuff just want to make sure you know that uh, I had had my suspicions but uh I guess it's glad to have I'm glad to have them confirmed mm -hmm. yeah uh, I'm I'm gonna hope. Nothing more really comes of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, me too. I <laughs> shoot. I guess I should also let you know. Uh, our next job is going to be continuing to work under Masano. Uh, but mm -hmm. I'll. I expected as much. Right. Uh, I'll, I'll debrief everyone later. Um. For now, I'm. Uh, do what you need to do. Do what you yeah. need to do. Take it easy, Captain. Uh, easy. <laughs> uh, you, you get some some more rest, Derby. Or uh, do I do whatever. <laughs> do do what you like to do. Mm. We'll talk later. End scene. Yep. All right. I guess I talk to Elizabeth now. I f <laughs> or do you talk to Doc? Unless, uh, or Felix? Hmm? Unless the... I'm sorry, you said something, but I didn't quite I didn't catch no, it. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, unless other people would like to do anything else. Um, I think Elizabeth is in her room in warm pajamas and a blanket nest, and is like playing video games oh no mm -hmm. she's comfy <laughs> <laughs> time to ruin that maybe i don't know <laughs> um yeah we'll just kind of like knock on the door frame and be like uh you busy no not really what's up 
Um, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> I kind of have something important to speak with you about. Um, sure. Uh, close the door if you want. Right. Um, <laughs> like, comes in, but, like, doesn't know what to do with himself. Just kind of keeps, like, looking around, like, super uncomfortable. Like, do I, do I, are can you, I... Are you alright? Something wrong? Uh... I don't... It, not per se. Um... I'm feeling a might guilty. Um, yeah? I, um, I don't... My offer from last night still stands. Um, I... Yeah? Yeah. Um, <laughs> you all sound so sure about that, Captain. I think I, I realized I've done this a bit backwards, though. Um, so, I want you to fully understand what we're about to be getting into as far as work goes. Right. Um, you've only been with us for a short time, and you've only done this one job, and... Yeah. It was dangerous, but it's not... The things that we're trying to do here are about to be dangerous in very different ways. Um, what? What kind of ways is that? Uh... We're looking at, um... The kind of danger that people get into when they, uh, cross the wrong people. Right. Uh, so this isn't gonna be, like, you know, accidents while pulling in some salvage. This is gonna be... Right, it's, yeah. Like, people dangerous, not, like, weather dangerous. Right. Um. Right. I'm uh, and I'm guessing uh, y'all might have figured out that I'm not. I I know me. I'm not the best with that kind of thing. Uh. You've you've done well up to this point. Um. And. I, I still believe in your abilities, um, but I would feel just terrible knowing that I hadn't offered you a proper choice in the matter. If I hadn't given you enough information to mm -hmm. make that choice. Right. I yeah I, I appreciate that because and like like I said as much as I, I really appreciate your offer and and if if it is genuine like you said um, I also understand like I I hired I got hired on for a contract job I know I did, I wasn't necessarily going to be on for super long um I I'd, I'd like to be on for pretty long <laughs> if I can it's a, a nice boat mm. Some nice people, and I like Ada a lot. Um, you're pretty neat. Derby's really good at stuff. And the docks <laughs> uh, over there. And, <laughs> you know. Oh. Folks are nice. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's it's whatever. Uh, I, I plan on trying real hard not to let y'all down. And if that means 
closing my Twitter or whatever the fuck, I get I can, I'll, yeah, I'll try real hard. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, you would basically have to be sworn to secrecy. Right. Uh, at least for the time being. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know what your connections, the rest of your life typically looks like, uh. <laughs> not not exactly sworn to secrecy type of business typically uh gotta say not not much uh like corn hustling or whatever corn, uh, corn hustling is that it? Uh, i tried it's fine <laughs> corn hustling i <laughs> Yeah, oh, it's you... them hazard boys again, rustling up some corn. See, it just doesn't sound right. <laughs> I try to be serious here. Sorry, sorry, I just, yeah. No, I understand, Cap. I appreciate it. Um, I, 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 I would like to take you up on your offer. I'll... And know that I'm, I'm, I, I intend to take this real serious. I, I don't... <laughs> Y'all seem like you de you get in some dangerous shit every once in a while. Um, and, and I'm gonna try real hard not be the reason that shit goes sideways. Uh, I think we're all trying our best. If, if you can match that, then... Well, we're shiny. Yeah. Um. All right. I, um, I, hmm? I was just going to say uh, uh, thanks for hearing all that out. <laughs> of course. Uh, I'll be in here probably like all day if you want to watch, watch something or play Mario Kart. <laughs> um. I don't know. I I just got a few games from home. I, I don't know if other people play really. I just... I never really got to uh, try those things back on my home world. Um. Paul thought they were neat, so we always had a couple. <laughs> uh, how, how about after work? <laughs> sure. I've got a, a couple a bit beers. To take care of. Um, I'll be calling some sort of meeting here shortly. Sure thing. We do. <laughs> goes to, uh... goes back to playing Harvest Moon or whatever the fuck. <laughs> oh, she would play Harvest Moon too, wouldn't she? <laughs> she's playing like Stardew. Like she's playing she's playing she just really likes farming video games. It's like Stardew Valley fifteen or something. <laughs> like... Stardew Valley Ultra. <laughs> Stardew Planet. Stardew. Uh, yep. It's Stardew it's Galaxy. A it's a mixture of like Stellaris, the Forex game, but it's farming. Oh my god. Silly. Anyway. Uh, all right. That's all I had. Cool. That's weird. Are there any other conversations people want to have? Uh, yes, but I almost want to wait until after the big old meeting. Sure. Alright. Let's have a big uh, old meet. <laughs> yeah, so like uh, maybe another like hour and a half cells will actually like call the entire crew down and, and do our usual chit chat. Mm -hmm. Alright. Yeah, everyone 
that I'm in control of, which is Elizabeth and Ada. Get there on time. <laughs> Ada's always on time. Ada is always on time, except when she's not. <laughs> <laughs> and it is very notable when she's not on time. Jeez. Unless she's off pouting about something. Funny. Um. Alright. Uh. We've got. Uh. Basically, our next job lined up. Um. I'm thinking maybe. Day, day and a half more rest, and then we can get the hell on out of here, depending on how, how everyone's feeling. Um. We're. Um, yeah. I was just gonna say I'm I'm ready to go. Whenever, personally, uh, but does everybody know what we're doing? No, that's <laughs> what I'm about to explain. Uh, so, uh, this ain't gonna be our usual sort of uh salvage job i don't think um we're uh all but a uh, kind of vaguely gestures towards elizabeth all but one of us know kind of know what's going on um we're doing work for uh a boss family. Uh, this uh, this will be a bit different. I'm gonna need discretion and and focus from everyone here. Um, we're gonna have to be really flying under the radar. Um, even if we're not doing a salvaging job, we have to act like we are. Um, we're going to be flying into uh, Yakuza space. Um, we'll be getting more details on the job as we go from our current contact, Masuno. Um, but I know about where we should be heading and the kind of timeline we're looking at. Any questions, concerns, <laughs> objections? Is this going to get us into deeper? Well, first, um, Derby stops at that and then looks to to Elizabeth and looks to Captain. Sorry, just so we're all established. Is she in on it? Uh, well, I've left that up to her, but it sounds like we've come to an understanding. I, I'd like to stay if you'd let me. What was that? Um. Hmm? Then. Boys. Hmm? <laughs> and you've, you have informed her of all the risks, correct? I, I know. Okay, sorry right about here. that. So, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry about that, Elizabeth. I'm sorry about that, Elizabeth. No, I know. I, I, I understand that there's a lot a lot riding on all this and I I trust me when I say I'm taking it real serious and I'm I'm not I'm not going to be the reason shit goes wrong okay I'm happy to know that so that's what I was saying my question is, Captain, is this going to get us deeper into trouble, or, well, and this is to Lynn as well, do you think this will get us deeper into trouble, or help us get out of it? Uh, the hope is 
working our way towards getting out, but it's gonna get dicey before it gets any better. Yeah, uh, probably a bit of column A, a bit of column B. Mm -hmm. um, we're we're trying to get to a place where we'll get past this. I, I'd like to say I I, I want to hope, anyways, that we'll get past this and be all right and return to more mundane types of work. But we gotta solve the problem, um, and these are the steps I think will have to be taken. Um. Okay, that's all I need to know. Uh, which is why I'm just kind of <laughs> making sure that everyone. Uh, is on board with this. Um. I kind of, at least for my peace of mind, need to hear that as well. <laughs> uh, once this is done, we've basically been promised uh, a steady flow of uh, maybe inconsequential work. I, it, it's kind of speculative right now, but we'll see. They wouldn't be doing uh, this, I don't think, all the time. And hopefully not at all after this. Doc, Felix. Oh, I'm still here. I think Felix looks up. Yeah. Just. <laughs> I just want to make sure you you understand what you're getting into and that you are okay with it. Because if you're not, then you know we figure out something I think Doc just heavily sighs I want a bit of a pay raise but if so I'm fine with it you don't even do anything <laughs> I really hope Lynn says that out loud. I he, really want him to say that out he loud. He says it so quietly, yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess you'll all be uh, excited to learn that you're all getting a bonus from that last job, because holy shit. Um, uh, you'll get that bonus whether you decide to continue working or not. Um, but it's not contingent on anything. It's just, uh, from my understanding, we'll be all getting better paid, uh, if we can accomplish this. So. I've been through hell and back. I don't see this as any different. It's either hell or back. You got two options. <laughs> literally two options <laughs> somewhere between hell and back like I've been both places um yeah for I've, like connotative it all. for connotations at least for in, in if this contextualizes the captain a little bit more is um you just got paid a whole lot of money mm -hmm. um and Masano referred to that as a uh paid reasonably well and he told you last night that if you do this for him, you're going to get paid through the ass. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh. Uh. We're pretty damn well set as is. Not gonna lie. Um. We 
could somehow be doing even better than that. <laughs> if you can believe it. Um, so, it, whatever your reasons, uh, money or for the sake of your crewmate, uh, whatever, you know, uh, I can't guarantee your safety, but, uh, I can <laughs> guarantee that once we get past the bullshit, frankly, um, we will be pretty well off, if my understanding's correct. Nah, uh, no complaint. Alright. Say I'm here. I'm here. And, and, and here. That was... Mm. Uh, th <laughs> this, this is a voice switch appreciation post. Yeah, that was really oh. good. That was very good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm practicing. Acting. <laughs> I'm practicing. Oh. Um... All right. Um. All right. Does Ada's voice reach all the way down here? Or wait, uh, no, only yeah. if she's <laughs> using the comms, uh. <laughs> <laughs> which she can. Uh. Smacks button. Can I help you, Captain? <laughs> uh, I just thought you'd like to feel included. Uh. I do, Captain. Despite the fact that I do not have corporeal form. <laughs> uh, uh, how are you feeling about all this? I'm fine. I would like Derby to get back to work after he's had a cup of coffee. <laughs> uh, well, you heard her, Derby. <laughs> and maybe some sort Felix of granola scrambles. bar for energy. Felix scrambles to get some coffee made for Derby. Slop <laughs> oh. <laughs> again. Uh, ship, chef, no. ship, chef, ship, chef. Adorable, adorable. <laughs> that sounds unanimous to me. Um. All right. Um. How is everyone feeling about the, the timeline on this? Maybe just one more day, just to enjoy <laughs> being docked while we can before we head back out. One more day will do it. Yep. I'll be here. I don't <laughs> like the rain. <laughs> Ooh. Nope. Storm bad, fish smelly. <laughs> well, thank you, everyone. You, I mean it. You're welcome, Lynn. Uh, all right. Uh, that actually sounds like maybe an okay place to call it for tonight. Yeah. And um, remember to with the implication of like we can do some advancement now if we would like to. Oh yeah. Yes, please. Um, can we? I was gonna oh, say. You want, I know sorry, you want to have, have a thing? conversation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to have a conversation with Felix at some point. Uh, Boy yeah. time. Make it happen. Boy time. Boy time. That sounds. That sounds <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the boys the are back in town. <laughs> Lynn having time with the boy. How's it going? I this was this was objectively the worst um, transition. Transition. It's fine. space we've ever been in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone just parts and goes their own way, except for uh, Luke, you hang around, and Felix is making coffee or whatever. I don't know. No, I'm saying boy time. Oh, boy time. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, like, immediately was just like, I am, because I just look at my name, and it's just Dr. Josh Grozik and boy. So I'm just like, boy. <laughs> boy. Um, boy. If everyone's parted from, like, the kitchen or whatever we're meeting, wherever we're meeting. Um, yeah, then Felix is probably cleaning up, tidying up. Ugh. 
How are you feeling about all this, Felix? Um, skeptical. <laughs> A little nervous, but <laughs> determined. <laughs> Is something the matter? Yes and no. Um, I, uh, Lin is like holding his hands up against his forehead, just like clearly having a time of it. Um, it's just like this was a lot more difficult than I really anticipated it being. I don't, I don't mean the the wreckage job that I mean that was its own brand of hell um, mm -hmm. but god seeing him again just like I don't know what to do <laughs> you know I think Felix puts down whatever he was cleaning and just kind of sits in a chair right next to Lynn. That must have been really hard for you. To go through that, to go and see him again after God know how long. But is, is everything... I don't want to say okay, but like things fine between the two of you yeah yeah <laughs> i mean they're not perfect as you but... want them yeah but that's to be expected right like it's i think so i mean i <laughs> i'll be honest i wouldn't know what that would be like. I I wouldn't. Well, I mean, imagine somebody you spent two years of your life with and thought maybe that something could be built and then you just up and leave. And, you know, upwards of a year later, you see them again. And everything is somehow the same, and yet everything is completely different. Because you, you weren't there, but we stepped aside when we were at the Trident. We just had a chat, the two of us, and it was like... It's like nothing changed. And yet everything had changed, you know? Just I, I can't get over that feeling. Felix just smiles sadly and just kind of looks to the ground. I... Lynn, I've never been with anyone before. I... I'm sorry, I don't know what that's like. I've never experienced anything like that. I've told you before, I can count those that I've considered people I trust or friends on one hand. And you're one of those. I'm happy for you that you can have this sort of connection with him again. I, <laughs> I just think I'm the worst one to talk about with, with um such, such things. I'm I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make it about myself there. I. I... sounds callous when you say it but i don't care like it doesn't bother me but that that's fine um i i just i've been thinking all day i've tried to sleep <laughs> i couldn't um what happens when 
this is over. He looks back at you and just kind of looks confused. Like... Like, like, my name is cleared, Kichiro is out of the picture, Masano is working his way up the system, and I'm just gonna be out here? Rifling in the black? Like, I... You... You want to leave? I don't know. I don't know. It. I don't know if it's possible. But if it was, I don't know if I can say that I wouldn't take it. I, I'll be honest, I was a bastard. I'm still kind of a bastard. Um, <laughs> Masano makes the joke of I want to do crimes with you. Sorry, bad joke in my head. Oh. <laughs> Masano makes the, the joke of like I want to do crimes with you. And I ironically not Do you ironic. think that could be a full time job for you? Is that what I'm getting at? Or what you're getting at? It was fun. I'm I'm good at what I do. I like the challenge of things. The killing is maybe not the best thing in the world. I get that. I'm not a good person for it. I re I recognize that. But all of the other stuff, the breaking and entering, the stealing submarines out of ships, it's terrifying. It's exhilarating. Mm -hmm. it's... <sighs> so I don't know. I think it takes a minute for him to respond. Go on. Okay. Because uh, what I was going to say next was um but like i also really enjoy the crew i enjoy i know kind of recently we haven't really done a whole lot i've been kind of up in my own shit because of all this and the explosion and fucking aftermath of that but like I, even if if i do leave i don't want to just like leave everything high and dry and step away for good, you know? Like, if you're out there and you ever need anything, I'd like to be able to show up somehow. Meet up for... I feel like you don't really drink alcohol, but, like, meet up for coffee. Have a day out or... I don't know, you know? No, I... I know. But... Lynn, the, the thing is, I'm... Yes, I, I would love that. I would love to... still be in contact with you, with you and to do all those things and to go on little... like, I don't want to say coffee dates because that's not what it is, obviously. <laughs> but... Just to spend time with you, but I don't. I don't want to have to wait until when the next time could be. I'm tired of being on the run. I'm tired of moving from ship to ship and planet to planet or whatever bullshit my father's gotten us into. I don't. I don't want to end. I don't want you to end up like the rest of those that I trusted, who I never 
spoke to again after I left. Lynn, you're different than all of them, and I don't want to lose that. And I'm not saying you stay here on the ship, because... I don't think any of us are going to stay here on the ship for the rest of our lives. Let's let's face it. Sorry, Ada. But it's just one of... <laughs> it's just how it goes, and I'm... I know you're tired of running away from you and your past, and... Yeah. And you've been a really good friend to me, and I want to help out in any way that I can. And it is selfish of me to even ask of such a thing from you, but I truly mean it. You don't have to make up your mind now, of course. I did just drop literally all of that on you. Just kind of I don't know. I just seem to open up a lot more when you're around. Uh, <laughs> I guess uh, my only question is like if you come with, you know what I'm going to be doing. Uh, so are you wanting to also be involved in that? Or just kind of there but doing your own thing? I mean, if you do join back with the, the family as it kind of sounds like you might want to do. I... It, it's not something that I would have considered about four months ago when I had only just met you, basically. But... I've... I want to help you out, Lynn. And I would like to think that we work well together. I know how to protect myself. I know how to do basic things with firearms and to do all of that. I'm decent in a car and getting away. I... I don't want you to... make it yourself... I don't know. I don't want to say that you're obligated to include me in on this because because you're not you you can turn me down if if you want and it, it's your call in the end i'm just putting all my cards on the table at this point i have nothing else left to hide and this is you basically know everything about me at this point The only thing that's kind of tripping me up is, like, you, um, oh, how did you say it? You said, like, you want to help me, and in the context of, like, doing the job that we're going to be doing next, I understand that, but if you following me to the Yakuza is an extension of that, I would prefer you didn't. Because if you make that choice, that has to be for you. That can't I be know. And I, I know that. I, I do. And obviously, I don't want to put myself into such a big role in your life because I don't have the power to do that. I can't be the person to do that and that's just 
weird. I just... We both had a talk before of not really knowing what the word home was or where our homes were. Yeah. And maybe, maybe that's something we figure out together, what home could be. Because you and I are a lot alike in that sense. And granted, we both came from very, very different backgrounds, but I see a lot of myself in you. I see a lot more than that. It's no secret I look up to you more than, sorry, everyone else in the crew. <laughs> sorry, Captain. Ada, frowny face. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, this is for lore reasons. Types Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Felix loves everyone, but he's just Lynn, slightly biased. Lynn did, in fact, not hurl Felix through space Earth's at Penis in at episode Cargo. in episode one. <laughs> yeah. That was episode one. That yeah. Was episode one. Anyway, <sighs> well. I don't know. None of this is like solidified, obviously. I wouldn't ask for it to be now. Honestly, I think we'd both be pretty foolish if we decided anything. Yeah. <laughs> as of this minute. I'm just. Just thinking. Just uncertain. Think. Think about it a little bit. And obviously I still have your back no matter what. If you think it would be better that I don't follow you to wherever, I, I understand. And I hope at least in the meantime, we can still work together well on our next mission. Well, I don't, I don't think that's gonna the future isn't going to affect the now. Or the potentiality of a future. Mm -hmm. Like, that's... We have a lot more pressing shit to deal with first. A bit. <laughs> a bit. I don't know. I don't know. Thanks for hearing me out, at least. Anytime, Lynn. I mean, I feel it says nothing else to say unless Lynn does. I don't think so. Cool. And scene. <laughs> I'm glad you stopped me for that. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was excellent. Captain plays video games for the first time. <laughs> what in the Captain hell Elizabeth, is a Mario Kart? Captain Elizabeth play video games. Elizabeth lets Captain win a couple times. Oh. <laughs> what the hell is this mushroom? Is it a person? Is it a mushroom? I can't tell the difference. What's this toad? That don't look anything like a toad. <laughs> why doesn't that dinosaur creature? Why doesn't that dinosaur dog eat up that toad person? Yeah, why does why does the why does Bowser, as the larger lizard, not simply eat Yoshi? <laughs> Wait, so that's supposed to be a princess? How are you? How can you even tell? It don't even. <laughs> It's like four <laughs> polygons. <laughs> oh. God. Where does this character come from? The Legend of Zelda? 
Zelda ain't even the main fucking character? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of goddamn trash story is that bullshit? <laughs> he used to call Link Zelda and he was like, oh, <laughs> No! <laughs> no! <laughs> that's it, that's it. I'm calling him Zelda. He looks I like a Zelda. Playing. Top 10 <laughs> anime betrayals. <laughs> Alright. Um, Advancement, real quick. Can we do that at the beginning of the next session? Because I'm real tired. <laughs> um Fine. We're gonna I'm not do it again. Very tired. We. I'll make sure we do. Okay. Set aside time. Yeah. I'll, there will be a designated advancement time, and uh, I've got everything in here it, at the bottom of the um, assets and stuff sheet. I've got the things you can do with advancement, so you can please take a look at that between sessions. Yeah. Okay. Um. I trust you all. It's it's pretty simple. Um. There's really nothing complicated about it, other than. The fact that there are lots of different things you can do. Um, yeah. Uh, stars and Wishes. Middle outward again, I guess. I'm so bad at keeping track of what order I do things in. Hannah. Um, stars. This is basically what I was hoping for in a session. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, I love these types of, of sessions. Um wishes um <laughs> um we do uh, i don't know i i'm very happy with the trajectory of this i hope that the the more cool stuff happens next session more more character drama and maybe some other things Kind of get kind of a mixed bag next time instead of just a, a character episode. One or the other. Mm -hmm. Reasonable. But cool. I'm I'm enjoying myself. Nice. Okay. Uh, Caroline, stars and wishes. Oh my! I'm usually last, so I was like, oh. Ha! Surprise. Um, there we go. Uh, stars. That was pretty good. I like that. It's um. There's a lot of really good character mo like interpersonal character moments with like a lot of different characters obviously this was a very lynn heavy episode which is totally fine it we a lot got done in said episode um yeah that was really good i really am starting to like masano's character quite a bit actually <laughs> masano's cool so he, he's pretty cool he's pretty cool i want to i would like to talk to him at some <laughs> point oh yeah I think Felix should, should talk to him. Hell yeah. Oh. Which I know is the worst thing for oh. Lynn. <laughs> That's such a good idea. It I really I that. think it should happen. I Absolutely. that I think is gonna be one of my wishes. Oh, I would yeah. love for Felix to talk to Masano. That's an easy No one. idea what I have no idea what Felix would even go to him about. <laughs> I think that's a great idea. It great. could be some really like Funny. The entire conversation is just going to be about Lynn. Let's be entirely honest. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I can't wait for Masano to be like, are you in love with him? Like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> Felix, after literally admitting never been in a relationship, just starts buttering. Like, uh, wait, not mm -hmm. Buttering? <laughs> Sputtering. I said sputtering. Oh, sputtering. sputtering. Okay, I heard butter. He just like, butters. <laughs> <laughs> He's churning butter. We love, we love dairy in this house. Absolutely. Um. All my homies love Another butter. wish. Ada! Ada. I miss Ada. More Ada? I miss Ada. Alright, good. Cool. Good to know. Soon. That is mine. Sick. Matt. Stars and wishes. Um, stars. I'm really proud of myself today. I felt like last session I did, did not good work. Act very well, and this session I did very good. And I'm very <laughs> happy with that. Um, <laughs> I feel like I, I, I don't know. I'm just happy with what I did. I'm happy with all of it. Um, I'm happy we got to see a little bit more from other people too. Um, just because I know I've been eating up a lot of radio waves, so it's good to see like Derby doing things, and I don't know if Felix or Doc actually did things, 
but <laughs> I had like 30 words the entire time until the talk with Felix. Yeah. But it's totally okay. Um, we're in we're in a Lynn arc and this was a it, plot episode. <laughs> yeah. Listen, no problem with me at all. <laughs> Not a problem. That's good to I, know, I, honestly. I don't think there will ever be a point where I don't feel a little bad about it. <laughs> so. so, okay. I mean, that makes sense. Hannah, are you I okay with that. me talking about, like, the conversations we've had a little bit? Yes, absolutely. So, so Hannah and I have talked yeah. about, particularly in previous campaigns, probably most heavily in the Kyla campaign, exactly the same feeling, but, like, Staldar. Mm. Right, because Staldar yeah. was was oh. a very central character yeah. to the stuff going on, and like every once in a while, Hannah would shoot me a message and it's just like, "Is it? Is this fine? Am I is it okay?" Things too yeah. much. I'm anxious. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So you, this is definitely not an uncommon <laughs> thing, and you shouldn't feel bad about it. I'm exactly the same way with some characters too. It, yeah. It happens. I hate like the idea that I'm railroading shit. Because let's face it. I'm a talker. <laughs> I, I am. We we've mentioned this before, but I think the 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 literal television mindset is actually really useful for this, right? Yeah. Because like there is a there is a main through line going on through some episodes usually, and other character sometimes other characters are just kind of there, and that's fine, um, as long as in the non context of TV in the RPG context as long as everyone is having a good time and having fun and and doing mm -hmm. that kind of stuff mm -hmm. interjection slash end rant <laughs> um yeah so I'm trying to think if i have any other stars i don't know i really enjoyed Pretty much this entire episode. I was also in most of this episode. But even the stuff <laughs> I wasn't in, I really enjoyed. Um, like the Derby Derby uh, Captain conflict was kind of fun to listen to. Um, wishes? I don't know. I, I really don't. I Today was so good that I'm just like, I don't know where this is going to go. So I just hope that it's interesting. Hell yeah. Eli. Stars and wishes. Lynn content. Boy content. 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 I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> Atta boy. <laughs> Lots of stuff happened and I'm happy it Shit, happened. That's we all had, you had to say. We got we got, we got that narrative focus episode and I'm I'm and I'm happy with that. It, setting up for setting up for that next mission necessary setup works well wishes what goes wrong i want something to go wrong i mean that's entirely up to funky. that's entirely up to dice and how we do for the most part exactly I, we only had one dice roll this entire session yeah, yeah and i cool. hope something goes wrong and i don't have to f personally cause anything to really really go wrong because as much as i like to get derby into trouble it's important for me i recognize not to fuck over the party intentionally which i try not to do <laughs> it's a delicate oh, I would balance love, i would love for doc to fuck something up just so everyone can shit on him <laughs> hell yeah <laughs> that's just something you get to do i will you, you always have the option throw doc into it yeah can always cause more problems Messy ass bitch. Let's I would like go. to cause pro. So, okay, <laughs> game systems. Let's talk game systems. Here's a really easy way to do that. Um, attempt something you're probably bad at and take your distinctions as negatives instead of positives to gain plot points. Mm -hmm. You cause trouble and you get plot points that let you get out of it and do more <laughs> cool different stuff. And that means taking the D4, correct? Yep, you take that... a D4 and you gain a plot point, which means that you're more likely to caught not only fail but cause complications to happen mm. that's kind of cool yeah it's like the core part of the distinctions thing and we haven't used mm -hmm. it a whole lot because usually people only care about stuff when they're good at it we haven't mm -hmm. really had people using their distinctions against themselves i specifically yeah. just used all of my like episode stuff 
to get all of my triggers so that I could specifically do more interesting causing problem stuff because they almost all go towards that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. <laughs> so it'll give me better opportunities to do different things. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, geez, it's my turn. Uh, stars. All the role playing was top tier this session. It was very good. The Felix Lynn conversation was really, really good. Um, I really like liked uh, uh, Captain and Derby's little thing because I, I like it because it is a it was an active disagreement. It's very much <laughs> Captain going like, "Hey, Derby, I did this thing," and Derby going, "Oh, <laughs> yeah, ah, ooh, that that is not the decision I would have made, but I respect your authority." Um, yeah, and that that's a really cool. Because it, it is conflict, but it's within a very specific dynamic. We lost Eli. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. He'll probably oh, no. be back in a second. Welcome okay, back. Okay, there he is. Um, yeah, that, that chunk was super good. Um, the I, I really liked playing Masuno this session. That was a lot of fun. Um, I, I think I got a much better handle on Ma who Masuno is as a character than last session. Um, and I appreciated that. For, I appreciate it. Good job, Cole. I appreciated how you played that today. Um, <laughs> I have a very specific wish, which is more of a maybe more of a point of discussion. Um, two sessions. Uh, next week, and then a finale. And then I would like to take a break. I don't want to say, I don't want to be done with this game. And I don't want to be done with these characters. But that, to me, is very much the conclusion of this season, if that makes sense. <laughs> right. Um, I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. And then, because I, this is, like, the arc that we have been doing, effectively. Mm -hmm. um, and after that's done, we're going to have to get on to a new big arc. And that seems like a very natural point to go, like, hey... Let's put this on pause for a little bit, and then we can come back to it later. Mm -hmm. uh, if that sounds okay with everyone. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Seems um, my guess is two sessions currently, because um, mm -hmm. we still need to do the everyone planning on what's the stuff's going on, some complications, whatever, execution. Like, they, and then, like, actually executing our cunning plan and things like that. Like, we've got... I, I think we have more than one session, or we would have to have one really beefy session, and I don't think we have the scheduling ability for that. Yeah, that since we start, like, seven, no. Yeah. No. Um, cool. It sounds like folks are into that. That's good. Yeah. I guess um, the only thing is then, like, what would come after? That was my next thing, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we have some options. Um, I... I basically want to find out what y'all are most interested in um so i can research that instead of reading a whole bunch of books again and figuring out what's good um my top games right now for us collectively um vampire vampire the masquerade um lancer uh we talked about playing that and mouse guard um the kind of red wally mice and swords um yeah i think i think that's like my top three um any strong preferences i'm personally leaning toward vampire i've been leaning that way after playing this yeah because i was i was really thinking lancer first um because that just sounded like a lot of fun uh, it does but... sound like a lot of fun <laughs> but i i think the 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 um i don't know if the, how the systems work but from my understanding vampire works a lot more similarly to firefly where it is a lot more role play but also combat stuff yeah it it takes a lot more of the like nordic larp model of like yeah, very character and narrative driven driven systems yeah. i also think um what we are attempting to do will take more than two sessions but that's just me <laughs> yeah if if it ends up that like we need more time i'm i'm not gonna i'm not saying hard limit two sessions i i just i that is about how long i th i am fairly certain this is going to 
take. Okay. Um, but yeah, we'll see. It depends on how goal oriented we are next session. <laughs> yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I am interested in Lancer a lot because, again, I know I am in the my probably in the minority who really likes combat, who really likes strategic combat here. Oh, I like it or, a lot. I play Fire Emblem. That's literally like what I do. There, I know, there's also a chance we do both. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because oh, no. I, I was, I'm trying to pick between, am depressed, have lots of free time, and need something to do. One of those three, or all of the three. Ah, uh, it's a mood. <laughs> we might end up doing both. I might. For the Lan- Because I've also had other players that are really interested in playing Lancer, too. So I might, like, try and poke around and see who else wants to do that. I, anyway, sorry. But also, I always get this way. But also, also, but then also, Mouse Guard just sounds incredibly enchanting to me. I want to play a tiny little cr cr critter in a, in, a big, in a big scary world. It's also got very pretty art. Yeah, it interests me a lot. But also, again, I am love playing with everybody, so I will follow wherever everyone leads. I have no complaints. Mm. It smells like dice. <laughs> nice. That's a lie. It doesn't. It smells like paper. Mm -hmm. It smells like dice. It smells like and... ink because it's it's all it's fully mm -hmm. illustrated and printed in color. So it's uh... just like strong ink scent. All right, cool. Well, then... yeah, I don't care what we do. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> you used to play more D and D, so I mm. yeah. Well, and I'm also I've been increasingly thinking about playing D and D again, but probably after I start writing some more stuff. Y'all might be an inadvertent playtest group for some things if you are okay with that. Um, <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, there's a lot going on right now. Um. Cool. Sounds good. I'm glad I got some cool confirmation on that. Um, I'm very tired. And I'm at the final boss of Phantom Hourglass. So oh, hell I'm, yeah! I'm gonna make those two things conclude. Um, oh, yeah. also, Matt. Yes. I now have a copy of Final Fantasy Tactics Advance and Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2. <laughs> you will not regret it. I hope so. I also have the... F no, not the first Fire Emblem. The Fire Emblem on Game Boy. The one that's just called Fire Emblem. Oh, hell yeah! Emblem mm. time, baby! Yeah, I... Yeah, I need to try those. I have a lot of DS games. I modded my DS. Ninian, um, best girl. So. If, you, <laughs> if you get a character uh, in Tactics Advance named Muglio, M-U-G-L-I-O... Mm -hmm. I've only ever rolled him up once. Yeah. Um, favorite character I've ever had, and mm -hmm. is now my online moniker. So it sure is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I was always wondering where that came from. Mm -hmm. Yep. And a, a friend of mine bastardized it uh, and nicknamed it into Mowgli. Mowgli, because she can never say anything right ever. So. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Cute. Yeah. I'm going to hit the recording button before I forget. Oh. Mm.